This is how we be the sisters. You ask me double eyes. We help a wee bear. White waffle. Hacka hacka! El horrible, horrible, El horrible and be dabble. Give them their props. Let me uh, add uh, the core dip. Hello, mama. I'm not gonna lie. I could watch Tuki all day long. Tuki's fantastic. <laughs> Tuki's amazing. I'm sorry. Could we talk Tuki a bit? I'm a Tuki guy. I'm a Tuki guy. Do you play with those breasts and like have fun with them? Ray, I haven't stopped playing with these breasts since I put them on. Oh my god. He's an idiot! Hacka hacka! I did text that to Shuli, Vince, and be Dabbler. That this NB information. Who's that? <laughs> That's our replay. Oh, no, 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 no. I just I'm... wanted to just, you know, bury whatever hatch we have. Doodle, thanks for two bucks. Ignore the piazza pe potato. Don't play into his hand. I'm not. I'm done with the potato. Do you like the potato, Kate? No, I hate the potato. And I hate Tukey even more. Yeah, so do I. I do They're too. They're horrible, horrible individuals. So are you in uh are you in Manhattan or are you Ah, okay, Cardiff. Now this is where I'm going to lose against this brain. All right. Get your dumb ass play. up, because it's time for Tuki ah. Soup. The taste is gonna move ya. With OJ yeah. and Ralph. In a place where all kids with Down syndrome made lamps. Tuki, Tuki Soup. It's gonna move ya. It's just a song. It gets right to ya. Tuki Soup. The taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. Yay! Hello, everybody. It is your good pal Tuke, the hack of all hacks, the hackinator, the most annoying of all the Dabbleverse characters. And this is Tuki Soup, episode 25. We are doing it. This is a show. I'm sorry we didn't have a show. The other night or day, well, night and day, I was going to have it at night and then I had to switch to day and then we couldn't do it during the day because my internet was out two nights in a row. My internet went out at three o'clock in the morning and my mom woke me up and she was like, I can't sleep. I got to the bottom of that, sir. What? Well, the I, internet? Yes. I figured out what happened. What happened? Uh, well, sir, uh, believe it or not, it was OJ. He thought uh, he was trying to see if he could wrap your internet cable uh, inside his pee hole. Oh, you cocksucker. And it, uh, oh, it cock ruined your internet. You Tuki, was it just your internet or was it like the whole neighborhood? It was a whole neighborhood. Uh, there was, uh, it, was, it was knocked out. They were doing some kind of service. That was the first night. And Tuki was like, what do you mean you can't sleep? And, and Tuki's mom was like, because the internet is out. Tuki's mom has to sleep with the TV on and we only have internet TV. so. There was no TV. And then the next, so the Did next Tuki day. Did get lucky? What? Not with my mother. How dare you? Only with Raymond DeVito. He's the only one who has busted through these walls <laughs> with his dumb, <laughs> retarded semen. Stupid. But uh, yeah, so I didn't have internet, but we have internet now. We're doing it. Everything is great. It's the last show before the battle at the Borgata. I have a special uh, simulation that uh, Gummy Chainsaw has created, and I think I'm going to put that up for our members only. You can watch that. It's like a 15-minute WWE video game simulation, and he created, he created characters. So, like, Melton is on there, Stuttering John, KB. I think even OJ, who won't be in AC, he's one of the characters. Yes, and uh, we'll put that up. I was going to play it during the show, but it's like 15 minutes, so I figured we'll we'll give it to the members. 
and then we'll make it uh, free for everybody right before I leave for AC, the battle at the Borgata. Is everyone convinced that John is going? No, sir. Uh, no, I'm not convinced. Not until not until he's there will I believe it. I had no idea. Oh, God, I feel like John. I'm disgusting. We have anything for the Aj? Oh, I got Pepsi AC, but I don't I don't use it. I bought it and I don't use it. That's did the one you, you told me to did get. You get right? the, the, did you get the chewable or the pill? Ah, shit. What was I supposed to get? Either it's works. But the, the pill you got to take yeah, like wow. an hour before you eat, but the pill you just take when, whenever you take oh, one, on one of pill. those and it's like a miracle, man. It's, yes. Tukey's on the pill. Well, nice. he's not on the pill because I haven't taken it. It's just been sitting there. But uh, yeah, so um, I, I, I didn't think. Uh, no, I do think I. I still think John's going to be there, but I didn't know John was flying into Atlantic City, which is a very rare airport to fly into. Well, and he's then flying. I heard, what? Did you hear the route he's taking, sir? Yes. I had no idea. Why would he do that? Why is he going through all this trouble to go somewhere where most people don't want to see him? <laughs> it's very odd, Satuki. Well, whatever. We're doing it. We'll be there. We'll be yelling at John. You're very stupid. Are you drunk? Scratching our forearms, telling him we're scratching our dicks, <laughs> asking him if his oldest son has queefed in his face. We'll be there to ask all these questions and more. Well, you better be and careful. John's bringing a posse, according. I to heard he's bringing a pussy or a, yes. po a posse. A posse of pussies. A posse of pussies. He's bringing yes. Hitman Dan. Yes. And then another friend unnamed. And maybe his brother-in-law. Possibly his brother-in-law. And did he say Hitman Dan's wife? Yes. He did but say it, Hitman Dan's wife, right? He did. Send, I don't think. Send, I don't think. Sorry. Send your questions you want Tuki to ask John to TukiSoup at gmail.com. We've gotten a lot of great questions. Those are just a couple examples. Yes, Ralph, what were you going to say? I don't believe Hitman Dan will be too much of a, a factor in the yeah. battle, sir. He, he, is, yeah. he is scheduled for surgery the next day. Oh, he is scheduled for surgery? Well, the Borgata, the dis the Discord death match, is scheduled for 28 falls. So he better be ready because he's fucked. They're all fucked. Tukey, when Tukey gets a hold of these guys, they're gonna not gonna know what hit him. Tukey Just go go for his hip. Back. If you gotta go, if you gotta take on Hitman Dan, you go for his hip. We're going in low and we're going in fast. Uh Dr. Steve, I don't know if Dr. Steve, are you on the uh, call screener? If you want to call in and talk to Dr. Steve, call Tukey6854. Dr. Steve is our uh, permanent call screener now. He's always, every, he asks me every time I go on, uh, can I uh, screen your calls? I, I, I need work. And I'm like, yeah, no, no problem, Dr. Steve. I will give you work. It pays shit, pays $3 an hour, actually pays less than what it costs me to uh take the call so i'm sorry dr steve but that's the way it has to be you have to work from the bottom up in this business dr steve that's if right. you have to be a big radio star like 2k but uh yeah uh i didn't think or i did think john was gonna go but then i heard his route is like nine hours he's got a nine hour like route anything to save money but how much could he possibly be saving i mean it's on points. Oh, it's on points? Uh, oh, so he's going to pocket the Brock lean money? Well, I uh, also, so I heard that apparently uh, Kevin Brennan has said uh, he hopes, uh, I hope, uh, I hope things don't go well for stuttering John's plane. <laughs> I hope things don't go well. <laughs> wink, wink. So John is like, how? Oh, dare you i don't even care about me but what about those other innocent americans that are on that plane <laughs> you are so nefarious that you would wish death upon innocent children and women on that plane <laughs> he's so stupid he's such an asshole we would like to say here at the bedabbler network we also wish that something goes wrong with the plane. Maybe if we all get together like hands across America and wish, I wish, I wish the plane has no beer. Oh, has no beer. <laughs> yes, 
That is how things will not go well for his flight. You're right. That's what we're talking about, John. We want all the alcohol to be, yeah, a big alcohol droughtage for the planes. All four of them. What is he taking? Like four planes? Just At least two. Here. That's fantastic. Uh, all right. Uh, we have our first call. I think it's everyone's favorite caller. I'm just going to do this to test out the phones real quick. Michael Gavin Ali. Hello, Michael. Hey. Oh, my God. Hi, Tukey. This really is destroying uh, your show, I know sir. You're not no. very, very too happy. Um, I'm not I'm very here. too happy, Michael. <laughs> you're on the phone. No, I know, I know. Um, have you ever, uh, have you been catching up with Jim Norton and his transsexual wife? You mean his husband? Yes. Well, not really. I mean, I've seen some stuff, but yes, what, no, what's going on? Give I us know. an update. Give us the uh, update on Jim and his worm. Nikki. Nikki. Nick. It's Nick. It's so weird. It's just so Nicholas. It's so weird. <laughs> just uh just to have Jim and a transsexual woman. I mean, I Why? have watched their their Michael, isn't love I love? Don't know. Michael, isn't love love? Aren't you always looking for love? Isn't that why you have, uh, you know, bank vaults full of pornography? Because you want the love of yes. someone else? Yes. So what does it matter um, if it is a man but... or a woman? Who cares? It is all fine. Well, have you ever had a wiener in your butt, she... Michael? <laughs> no. So how do you know that you might not like it? Oh, because I would feel violated and I would be... Uh, taking showers all day, but and I would been... be saying, "Oh, Billy!" But have you oh, ever, Billy. have you ever had the touch of a woman? Yes. Really? For yes. free? Who was that? Yeah, for free. Uh, no, this was my ex girlfriend. What? When was this? Yeah. What a was his name? A long time ago, Dookie. Okay, so this was a long uh, time ago. Her but... name. No, Come on, no, you're no, good. No, He's no, great no, with Tukey. Michael Gavin Ali knows dates oh, like yeah. nobody knows. Oh, yeah. He, he should know when the last time he got yeah. laid was. Mm -hmm. Wait, you did not have sex? Uh, you had sex this, with this girl? Yeah, a oh, long no. time ago. Oh, no. What, what was the date? Uh, It was like 2006 through 2008 before the recession. Yes, before the recession. And then he's <laughs> gone into a recession. Your wiener <laughs> recessed from her vagina. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Well, look at you. You're doing better than Chad. I don't even think Chad's had a girl <laughs> since, you know, like the early, <laughs> early 2000s. Yeah, well, uh, Tukey, I'm on Tinder, so I'm Ew. looking for uh, pussy. Ew. I know. I know. I know. Oh, I would know. you like to give out um, your Tinder name? Just in case there is a girl out there who's looking for the one. Uh no, I plead the fifth. You don't want to give it out, you sure? Yes. All right, Michael. Thank you for your call. And you're welcome, Tuki. I love you more All right. than a friend. I love you Please. more than a friend. Uh, I shut the fuck yes. up. I love you, Tuki. Okay, goodbye, Michael. Oh, Michael Gavin Ali, everybody. Give him at least his three, three, three minutes. We gave him three minutes, 16 seconds. That's pretty good. That cost Tuki almost 25 cents. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah, so John. You get a refund, sir? I don't know. We cannot. All right, so yeah, so John is very upset that KB would wish for things not to go well with this plane. And that is all that, is all that Kevin said. Kevin never said anything like, I want your plane to go down in a fireball of confusion and horribleness. He just said, I want, you know, maybe in your plane, not to, flights not to go so well. How many flights is he taking? Do we know his path? It was just the one connection, I believe, sir. So or LA Florida. to Florida and then Florida to Atlantic City. Atlantic That's City. what I understood, too. Fantastic. That was wonderful. But yeah, I don't know. I think John is still coming. There are still people who doubt it. But yeah, I think I'd, I'd say it's seventy percent chance he's going. Well, well, how will he get out of it at this point? 
broccoli, <laughs> you know, maybe something will go wrong with broccoli. Maybe who knows? He's he's a master of coming up with excuses. So I nothing would surprise me. What is your theory, Ralph? Well, he's he's the king of showing off every time he buys something, sir. Mm-hmm. If he had bought plane tickets, he would have shown us something by now. Yeah, but if he's using points, I don't think he would care. People are saying that you, Ralph, you might be broccoli. Do you have any comment on that? Uh, no, sir. Oh, I saw. I saw. I saw. Misa no sa broccoli, sir. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know I turned to Jar Jar Binks, sir. Ugh. I think, I mean, I know what that is, kind of. <laughs> But Lisa. I've never seen it. Lisa Jaja Binks. Uh, yeah, so Tukey will be in uh, Atlantic City on Saturday. I don't know how I'm playing this yet. I think I'll probably wander around without letting anyone know that I'm there at first. Just kind of scope out the situation. That's the way to do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then figure it out from there. It's going to be a fun time. A lot of gambling. I want to do some gambling. Uh, someone has proposed possibly, I don't think online gambling is legal in Colorado, but I might start a kick and I think I can do it from Jersey. And I think, I think we might try and play some Plinko at some point in Jersey. (laughs) Yes. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to do it Boss Man Jack style. Boss Boss Man Jack style. Absolutely. Holy shit, chat. Let's fucking go, chat. Huge Boss Man news. He has had quite the week since we talked about him last. But first, I want to get into our good friend and his giant penis, Tony Chase. Everybody loves him. He's a fantastic man. He is a fantastic man, and he's got a fantastic penis. Now, penis. Tukey, when you know your internet went down and we couldn't do Tukey Soup, Cardiff and I went on, and we actually played part of this first clip. Oh, you did? And, uh, You're yeah, we, sons of bitches. Well, we didn't play all, the whole. I clip. got all the Tony's Chase money. <laughs> I mean, fantastic. he did, sir. Oh, I had no idea you guys went on. That's fantastic. But uh, yeah, uh, Tony asks a question, and that's where we pause the video. So if the chat wants to get involved and see if they could answer the question, which Tony will ask. How are you guys doing? This is very important in reference to the history of things, in reference to these accusators and their lies and their uh, fabrications. Get it on paper. Get it on record. A news crew needs to speak to these people about everything. In reference to these people, when they've made up lies about my penis size, why do you think I have a big penis? So, no, that is the question that Tony poses to us. Why do you think Tony has a big penis? Because he got it caught in a taffy puller as a child (laughs) on a field trip to a candy factory. That's the only way it could be 41 inches. Well, he's he said 70 inches at some point. I think it may be in one of these clips. Maybe not, but I do remember him saying it was up to 70 inches long. I think he might be wrapping it around a few times, sir. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> we have to get him together with Jonah Falcon. That guy, holy shit. <laughs> because we've seen we've seen Tony's penis, sort of. Because he has a he has like a porn hub, but it's really weird. Yeah, I won't look at that. I'm Tiger afraid. Lily. Because the aliens gave him one. Duh. Yes, that is why he has a giant penis. I don't know. Why does he have a giant penis? Does he answer well, this question? Yeah. He, he. Well, let's find out. Yay. Oh, is it not playing? Why is it not playing? Son of a bitch. Because of the satellite I man. I was born with a big penis. It's documented since the day I was born. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you, why do you have such a problem with somebody having a big penis and you're trying to steal their penis No. and you tried to attach their penis to your penis? No, never. What does that do for you? No, you think no. you become a God? You think you become a leader of America or something? Well, now that you mention it, yes. By stealing other people's penises? Yes. And wearing it on my forehead as a trophy. <laughs> so Tony never t- really answers the question. That he uh, asks, and he just, uh, yeah, he's telling me he's got a huge penis. Yes. So he thinks they're trying, and his penis is documented. That was the answer 
that we were looking for is because his penis was documented from the day he was born. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was born with a very giant penis. And that's fantastic. Who was that picture of like, it almost looked like uh, Dave Chappelle as the crack addict? Yeah, I don't know. We haven't found that, figured that out yet. Oh, it's behind him? Yeah, yeah, on the wall. It looks like Dave Chappelle as the crack addict. Well, here we can look at it. It's also in this uh, next clip. This one, he talks about he how he's being framed for little penis crimes. Oh, no. <laughs> what? And he also, yes, and he also talks about how I believe it's the satellite man is keeping him from having a girlfriend. What is a little penis People crime? say they want you to put on record what you said you thought my penis size was. And you tried to frame me for little penis crimes? What? You need to go on to court, government man. <laughs> and you need to be charged for blocking me from having females. These people, in reference to girlfriends, these yeah. people was blocking me from having girlfriends mm -hmm. because these men planned on stealing my penis. And then they tried to call me gay. It's disgusting. <laughs> Why are yeah. they torturing this man? Why is the government, doesn't the government have anything better to do? Apparently not. They are really focused on Tony. It's insane. Could you imagine if Stuttering John had a 72-inch penis? I'm talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, I can't, I can't tell who that, who that uh, Tyrone Biggums guy is. I think it's him. You've said that before. I, I don't know. You think it's Tony? Yeah, younger, healthier. No, Tony. And why does he have know. a GNC bag like, and a GameStop bag stapled to his wall? Well, maybe he's not the most healthy of people in the end. <laughs> huh. uh, this next clip, uh, he wants the government man to put his penis size on record. Yes, but yes, Robert, the penis information, government man. The Tom Brady of penis. Once you put it on record, how big my penis is. You don't get to touch me. You don't get to see. But you think you have your own opinions, don't you, government man? No. My penis is my real penis. And it hung down past my ankles and down to the floor oh, when I stood up. Sounds filthy. So how oh. long do you think it's supposed to be, government man? Like me? It's me. all real. My penis is my penis, not yours. Did you ever step on it? Oh, he's, he's had to have. Yeah, I imagine he horrible. I imagine he carries it like in a basket, like the the snakes in Indiana Jones. Right? Like it does. It really sounds like one of those things where like the devil's like, "I'll give you any wish you want," and you're like, "I want a giant penis." So he just gives you like a nine foot penis, and it's just impossible. You can't do anything with it. This is a nightmare. I don't want a seventy two inch penis. Like I said, eight. Eight would be fine. Yeah, I'd be happy with eight. Hell yeah. I've heard four inches I don't have is that. fine, sir. Four inches is fine. Yes. Uh, oh, this next clip, two keys. There's more penis thievery he's talking about. They're, they're stealing parts of his penis, and uh, he's not happy about it. What you called fake about my teeth, and what you called fake about my face. And what you called fake about my penis. Don't misrepresent the length of my penis and what it is and what it's supposed to be. <laughs> and what, um, how many inches your people have stolen or tried to steal from my penis. He's talking like a Native American now. <laughs> my people have been here with giant penises for <laughs> millions of years. And then the white man came by and was like, oh, we need to uh, harvest these giant penises for ourselves <laughs> like, what the fuck oh what happened to you tony what happened to this man he's out of his mind and it doesn't even seem i've never seen him drink we've never seen him like do anything like that right no no not even water though sir so that proves yeah, not true. true yeah he might be a an alien but uh i love you i love you tony chase do we have more penis i got one more yeah. one more uh, this one is yeah more penis size talk, and he wants the government man to put down on paper how big they believe his penis is. So you need to put on record, government man, in reference to my penis size, 
What size you think my penis size is? Not your race of opinion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Although that's probably what you'll say. Mm -hmm. The factual number of inches in length yes. that my penis is and supposed to be and what your people have stolen from it. <laughs> Get this down. Put it on paper, government man. Get it down on record. Because my penis has been documented since the day I was born. Yes. <laughs> So what is it? But is it is it Price is Right rules? Is it like closest without going over? I don't know. But is he saying his penis was fully grown when he was born? Like I assume <laughs> it grew more, right? I don't know. Doctor Steve, can you find out Tony <laughs> Chase's penis size when he was born? Is it in the doctor's handbook somewhere? Yeah, look it up in the books. He, he must be in there somewhere. Largest penis <laughs> birth. Caller, you're on the air with Tuki, OJ, and, and Ralph. And big penis Tony Chase. Hey, hey, Tuki. It's really fun listening to a bunch of dudes talk about another dude's penis. Yes, <laughs> giant penis. Didn't you hear what he said? Seventy-two inches. Not as much fun as having one here. I don't care about. I don't care at all about anyone's penis except for my own. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you want to talk about then? If you don't want to talk about giant penises. I was going to ask, in AC, are you going to be, is Harley Billy going to be renting Tukey out for like double use, double no. use? I no. Mean, John, people, you know, take a dookie and the Tukey. No, no, no one will. Please don't ask to touch or to use Tukey. I don't need all your filthy, sticky, disgusting hands inside of Tukey. But I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, Tukey will be in my room. Tukey's only going to come out. For special occasions. Oh, and then the $25 meet and greet that Tukey's going to set up in the men's bathroom in the okay. lobby. So, Great. yeah. So, what you're saying is that's, Tukey's going to come home with some $25. AC. That's how you just know. $25. I got to bring $25. No, that's I said $50. I, I said asking. 50 Didn't I say 50 No, it's 25 for one end, and I'll give you another 25 for my friend to use the other end. All right, that's fantastic. Yes, so $50 for the – yeah, I'll do that. $25 each. What were you saying, Ralph? I was saying, so it's okay. great that Tukey will be covered in AC bed bugs yes. when he comes home, sitting yes. in that room. Don't put don't put Tukey on the bed, sir. Never. And crabs. Yes, and crabs. All right, thank you for wait. Are you going to be in AC? No, I was only sent here from uh, certain dabbler. Let's say he he sends his regards. He hopes he sees you in AC. And he told me that he will forgive uh, Rocco and Tim if uh, you guys do a standing 69 cartwheel and uh, do that through the, the whatever lobby of what hotel you guys are going to. I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about. Thank you for your call. I don't know what the fuck. Who's Tim? Tim Dransky? Is that what he's saying? Yes, I believe he's implying that Stuttering John wants us to blow each other in the casino lobby. Oh, how dare he. While doing Never. a 69 cartwheel. Yes. Never. So All we right. want us to do gymnastics and sex acts. <laughs> I can't do both. <laughs> Maybe one. Barely. Caller, you're on the air. Uh, am I on the air? Yes, you are on the air with Tuki. Uh, I just wanted to say I enjoyed your uh, appearance last night on the BYB podcast. Well, thank you. Um, there was a lot of mutants, but you stood out amongst them. Yes. Yes. They were very scary. Uh, I have a, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I have a quick question. Uh, do you think that they will ever find the bodies of the prostitutes that Ray DeVito murdered? Yes. I mean, they should find a few of them at least it's hard to it also depends on how good ray is at disposing of bodies which i would assume he's very bad at and who I, knows which ones they may have found some and just haven't pinned it on ray yet yes that is very true that's very possible why do you know something caller uh no 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 thank you uh thank, thank you very much uh, Stevie Lee world order yes thank you quad father have a good one it's fantastic we're doing it Go check out the BYB podcast. Tuki was on there yesterday with all those mutants. I think the potato will be on tomorrow, sir. Oh, Cardiff Electric will be on BYB podcast tomorrow? Allegedly, sir. What time? Yeah, aren't we doing 
Oh, eight. Because aren't we doing, yo, remember the 90s at nine o'clock? We'll take that up with the potato. Wasn't that a surprise? Was it? I don't know. No, I don't old. think so. I think we said 930, sir. So OG well, ruined the surprise. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Let's do everyone's favorite JT part. JT just came. Oh, he just came. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, let's do everyone's favorite part of the show, the Super Chats. Thank you all for your generosity. Michaela, thank you for being a member for seven months. I love you more than a friend, Michaela. Scott Chunkster. Jo- Scott Chunkster. Scott Chunkster. Scott Chunkster. Scott Chunkster. Thank you for gifting 1B Dabbler Network membership. That's fantastic. Uh, Weird Medicine with Dr. Steve. Thank you for gifting 10B Dabbler Network memberships. And thank you for buying your ticket to Hackamania. Hackamania. Hacka Hacka. Dr. Steve will be at Hackamania. You know where he won't be? Where? He'll probably not be allowed to be on Kevin Bren- Brennan's show be- if he goes to uh, Hackamania. Well, he's going as a get, like he's going as a fan. Nope. Can, can you not even go? Wait, okay. We have to talk about this because I just learned about this before the show started. Kevin Brennan is mad at Tuki now? That's what the word is. What the fuck did Kevin did Tuki do to Kevin Brennan? I didn't do anything. Supporting <laughs> Hackamania, sir. I'm on Hackamania, so now I'm I am out of the Kevin Brennan business. Apparently you so. And Ray DeVito and Pat Dixon show up Uh-oh. at Hackamania. You'll Uh-oh. never be on MLC again, sir. Oh, come on. Don't do this. All right, do this. Tuki will be the martyr here. Tukey will no longer do MLC if he does Hackamania, but you must let Pat Dixon and Ray DeVito do MLC. You cannot take this from them. What? How can you do that? Then they can't go to Hackamania, sir. It's very simple. No, no but that take that. I mean, that's that's work. They're hey, it, MLC is like the NWO. You're either oh. with us or you're against us. Oh, oh no. Well, because I did hear. See, I didn't hear the Hackamania thing, but I heard he was mad that I'm still friends with the potato. So I was yeah. like, well, I'm willing to sacrifice that friendship if it means... Yes. Kick the, the potato to the curb, sir. Yes. I will dump the potato in a second if it means the never-ending love of my daddy, Kevin Brennan. I understand what Chad is chasing all this time. Just to hear that man laugh. <laughs> It's like the laugh of an angel. If you can make Kevin laugh, <laughs> there's nothing else you want to do in life. Chad, I get it. I get it. It's like a drug. KB is the perfect drug. But yes, I would dump the potato in a second. <laughs> Good move, sir. Melissa Young, thank you for gifting 10 B Dabbler Network memberships. So if that's so all much, I have to do, so. KB, to be back on your good graces. Consider it done. The potato is done. Consider this a feud. Thank Great you. Great idea, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. Do you think that's good? Do you think I should start a fight with the potato? Yes, the, the fans will love it, sir. They've been waiting for this. They've been waiting for Tuki to turn. Not enough works is what I always hear, sir. Works. Everyone's doing a work. They're doing a work. I know, Maybe I'm doing a work. Am I working a work or am I working a shoot? Are we shooting a work or are we working the marks? <laughs> what the fuck is AC gonna be like? I can't <laughs> wait. Still don't know why you're going, sir. I wish I was going uh, tomorrow. Oh, I almost wasn't going at all. And actually, we're supposed to get some snow on tomorrow and Saturday, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll cross my fingers for you, sir. Hands, man. Thank you for gifting five B Dabbler Network memberships. But yeah, a lot of answers will be answered by tomorrow evening. 24 hours from now, we'll know. Is Stuttering John in Atlantic City? Has he entered the building? Did Melton hurt his back on a chandelier? Did he hit his back on a chandelier? Because he has a giant humpback. Giant. (laughs) The biggest. Single mother of five, thank you for the $2. Do you have a formal response to KB saying he's done? Well, I guess there it is. I just yeah, learned. I didn't know. 
I didn't know until I came into the back room and OJ was telling me, or uh, or Ralph, one of them, or both of them were telling me that KB said, since I'm on Hackamania, I'm done. No. But yes, Hackamania, May 31st to June 2nd. Be there. It's going to be a blast. Like, seriously, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Myrtle Manis, $5. Your party, Lynn, was knocked out by that orange fella. I'm telling ye, Mr. Tukey, it surely was him, and that's a fact. My party line was knocked out. What are you talking about, Myrtle? I think you're, are you there, not there? All right, let me let me take a call. This guy, this person's been on, on for a little bit. Hello, uh, calling about Joey C. I am. How are you? Who are you? Oh, hey, I, I've called before. I didn't call about Joey C. Oh, I don't know. It says auto screen calling about Joey C. I called before about Joey C. I think that's when uh, I think Doc. I, I think your old Colts. Oh, thing oh wow. Oh yeah, happened. you're right. That's interesting. It says last on air Saturday, February third. Call note calling about Joey C. Oh, that's interesting. It tells me what you called about last time. Oh, all right. What do you want to talk about this time? Not that interesting, sir. Shut up. <laughs> you're you're about as tech savvy as John. You shut uh, up too. I'm going to drop you. You've been on hold for seven minutes and now I'm going to drop you. <laughs> uh, so I just thought like, you know, this whole Dabbleverse thing is relatively small, but I always, I listen to a lot of like YouTube commentary people. Mm-hmm. A lot of these guys love Whole cows. Mm-hmm. It never occurred to you what could potentially happen if one of these guys somehow discovered the Dabbleverse and like all of this shit show of like bloated alcoholic retards that are screaming at each other for you know in this little mini circle jerk. But like it really is like a weird thing that like like a like a million subscriber commentary channel if they looked in from the outside be like oh I could I could turn this into something even bigger. I don't know. I feel like that could go either really good or really bad. Yes. Uh, I mean, it, it could be great for the exposure, but yes, it could either go, uh, it could also go very bad because that brings in a whole new community of trolls normally. And uh, I don't know. Our trolls seem to John be pretty could have an army. Yes, he could have an army. John could get his own army. It'd be great. Yes, he could. He could possibly. Don't put any thoughts in his head. But yeah, like I, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like the the trolls in our universe are, are in our universe are pretty harmless. They're you know mostly just stupid and just having fun. But yeah, I mean, eventually that that might very well happen, and then we have to deal with that kind of stuff. But but it could also be good for a lot of us, you know, you know, bringing more eyes and I don't know, who knows? We're just having fun at this point, but it'll all go to shit one day. Are you gonna be an AC? <laughs> I live near AC. I haven't decided if I'm going yet. Interesting. Is John still on the air or is John done? I don't know, sir. I'll check. Anyone know? I don't know. All right. Well, thank you, caller. Yeah. All right. Thanks. All right. Good, good. <laughs> uh, right. John's did I off. answer his question? I don't know what he was asking. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Flashy <laughs> Dick. Member for nine months. Honor the fallen of the great D. Anon Purge of 24. The great Dabblers Anonymous Purge of 24. Honor the fallen of the great Dabblers Anonymous Purge of 24. Is that where uh, people have been struck on Reddit? On Reddit? God, Reddit. What the fuck? I hate this. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, yes. I did see that, sir, that apparently some people are getting. People are getting struck. On Reddit. Reddit. On Reddit. Yeah. Reddit? Banned. Banned. I think, I think Kiki Loco was hit. Really? One of our most beloved and most handsome of all chatters. Finally, Red four seventy three five dollars. I love Tuki because I can ask questions about bloody hemorrhoid butt to mouth in your <laughs> chat and not get put in timeout. Tastes like pennies. T W O. Yes. Why does blood taste like pennies? Yes, Kinky Loco. I got a three Copper, day. Sir. I got a three day Reddit ban today. Wow. This is pussy shit. How do you get banned from Reddit? I don't know. Who bans? Uh, it's such a pussy ass place that Reddit. I hate Reddit, but I hate YouTube too. I still have a strike. Someone struck Tuki. They tried to make it look like John, and Tuki immediately reacted. So I do give John traction. Sorry, John, I blamed you, but 
you know, fuck you anyway. Uh, you're a dick. You have, this is what you have encouraged, John. You've encouraged this new uh, tactic of striking channels when people hurt your feelings. Weren't you complaining that Kevin Brennan had his feelings hurt so he lashed out at you? What about the fact that we hurt your feelings so you just fucking strike our channels, you dickhead? And now you've encouraged other rogue strikers. This is all your fault, John. And you will need to clean this mess up. But I do give you traction. It wasn't you. I wanted <laughs> it to be you. You son of a bitch. I love that you're giving him traction. I give him traction. I have to. Tukey was wrong. The person who struck me was Mr. Kister, which is John's email, but they were missing an S. But Tukey didn't see that. Tukey just immediately went, Mr. Kister. John, you motherfucker. I got to get to Twitter too. The TWO. Fuck this guy. Fuck him in the ass. Was it missing the first S or the second S, sir? I think the second S. Yeah, the first S was there. Wait, Kister. Kiss. I mean, it's just one. I mean, it's Kiss. I mean, I don't know if it was the first S. <laughs> Waiver 150. <laughs> <super> Thank you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Tiny Chud, member for five months. E. Thank you, Tiny Chud. Tiny Chud has been keeping me updated with Boss Man Jack. Again, we have quite the journey to go through with Bossman Jack. I don't have any clips of any Dabbleverse shows. Go if you want to hear about Dabbleverse shows, go fuck yourself and go watch all the other. Go watch Shuli. Go watch Vince the Lawyer. Go watch all that shit. We are strictly talking about Bossman Jack because I am psyched to go gambling in Atlantic City. That's what this trip is all about. Everyone's forgetting the a real reason we're going to Atlantic City, and that is to gamble our faces off. Anyway. Malco, member for eight months. Enjoy AC, everyone's favorite gambling addict. Yay! It's cared for you, sir. I am not everyone's favorite gambling addict. I can never be as good as Bossman Jack. I don't have the cajones, as he says. And we'll hear that later in his wonderful Scarface impression. <laughs> Podcast customer service. Thank you for the $2. Choosy moms. Choose Tukey. Oh, that reminds me of something. So, in jest, Tukey had said, hey, Let's do a theme song contest, right? Yeah. Well, I actually had an entry. You got the entry one so entry? Far. Yes, I have <laughs> okay. one entry. Okay. So this is currently winning. I don't have a time limit for the contest, but uh, I wanted to play this one, see what everyone thinks. Uh, I think it's pretty fantastic. So here we go. And I have to find out. Oh, and I oh I actually I'm I'm playing this because can you bring that comment back up? Oh yeah, yeah. The super chata, because that is who sent it in. Podcast customer service. I think, I think that icon looks familiar. So while it's playing, I'll check. <laughs> it's Kevin then, Brennan, sir. Yes, it's a With Kevin Brennan. Sir. And I think that's who sent this in. I have to check, but I think this is who sent it in. So uh, you know, think and see if you get inspired. For the winner, I will give you some cash, and we will use it as a theme song. So here we go. Here's his uh, rendition of a new Tukey Soup theme. If you're like most homemakers I know, you've got a cupboard full of Tukey Soup. We're doing it. Tukey Soup. Okay, so it's fantastic. Needs a remix, sir. It needs a remix. That's fantastic. That was wonderful. And yes, that was sent in by uh podcast customer service. So right now he is in the lead. So if you think you can beat him, go ahead and try, and we will play your song. Uh maybe we'll pick a couple and uh we'll have the people vote. And we'll we'll have some votes. I don't know. We'll figure this out. I was just kind of saying in jest to see if anyone sent anything in, and he did. So uh, congratulations, you're in the lead. But again, I don't know how long this con. I need to get a couple entries at least, right? But that's yeah. fantastic. I, I think I think it's going very well. The contest so far, so that's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, submission. What did you think, OJ? It was okay. It wasn't oh. it wasn't the greatest, but oh. you know, it's my choice. To win right now. I mean, it's definitely yeah. the best one you've gotten so far. Sorry, podcast customer service. OJ thinks you suck. No. 
What about uh, Ralph thinks it sucks too? He said he needs to be more remixed. No, just the audio. I was just commenting on audio quality, sir. Well, it's very, it's very, I think it was uh, kind of loud, but I couldn't do anything about that. Uh, but yes, I think it's fantastic podcast customer service. And if it was up to Tukey, the contest would be over right now and you would be the winner. But unfortunately, it's up to OJ. So it sounds like we're going to have to keep going. Thank you, OJ, for your honesty. Captain Kickass, thank you for being a member for eight months. Ask Stuttering John, what does hemorrhoid blood smell like? Pennies. Duh. So, but you got to ask him what he what he says. Okay, when, I will ask. AC, yeah. I got to write that one down. Hot dog chili. Whoa, ninety nine ninety nine for AC. Thank you very much. That's a really uh really awesome of you. Thank you. We will be taking that hundred dollars in AC and blowing it. So just know that you took part in me blowing a hundred bucks. Hot dog. Maybe that could go towards the Plinko game if you get that going. The Plinko, yes, we could do the Plinko. The other thing was uh I wanted to pull some people together on like a big like slot machine, like a five dollar or ten dollar slot. And we pull, you know, a couple of people put in a hundred bucks. We get a couple of pulls and whatever we win, we split it up. I don't know. Is that legal? Can you do that? I don't you know. You can do anything you want, sir. Yes. Yes, we can, except for streaming in the casino. Apparently, they frown on that very much. So we can't do that. But who knows? And sorry, OJ, there's st still some laws in it Atlantic City for you, too. Well, yeah, I'm not going. Yeah, probably because you can't do that thing that you want to do even there. What thing? What? Yeah, what thing? I don't want to say, sir. We're waiting. It's horrendous. <laughs> How horrendous? How can it be so it's the most The most horrendous, sir. It's so bad you can't come up with anything. Oh, that is horrible. That's horrible. Oh, that is horrendous. <laughs> Arcona member for nine months. I think John is taking Greyhound part of the way. Huh. Yes. Well, it, it sounds like he would have had a better, you know, experience if he flew L.A. to Philly and then took a Greyhound from Philly to A.C. It's only like 40 minutes. It's not that bad. But why? Or rent a car. Use your driver's license, which you obviously have, and rent a car. That's one of the questions. Write that down, O.J. Let's see your driver's license. Okay. Or Got I'll it. just try to, I'll try to look at it when he has to, like, ID himself. I'll get it. I'll get a good... Does anyone have Google Glass? Remember those glasses Google had in like 2012? Does anyone have a pair of those they can give me? Can he get on a plane without a driver's license, sir? Well, he has that other, that, well, I mean, yeah, he can take a passport or doesn't he have that California license thing, ID? He was bragging about it. What was that called? Real ID? Yeah, real yeah, ID. Yeah, real ID. Why would you get a real ID if you have a driver's license? Is it that different? It's different in the state of California, I think. I, I, I really don't know. I never looked into that real ID thing. I know California is big into the real ID. I don't think anyone has. How come? Yeah, that seems like something someone would have looked into. But I thought it was interesting because he kept bragging about how he's gonna. I'm getting a real ID. Why wasn't he just saying, yeah, I'm renewing my driver's license? Or... Pretty sure that's what they actually call it, whatever that ID is. It's called a real ID. Interesting. Yeah. Mark Abatista, thank you for the $10. My opinion Vince booked and paid for his flight, and John will pocket the five large Brock Lee is giving him, and they will be stacked like firewood in that small room. I don't know. It's not five. So. It's not how much is Brock Lee giving him? Well, he said he would cover the flight, which I guess he's guessing is about five hundred bucks. That five large. I guess. I don't know. I thought large was a thousand, sir. Yes, it normally is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have no idea uh, Rochi thank you for the two pounds Joey showed his feet still no evidence of toes FJC interesting <laughs> caller you're on the air <clears throat> hey Tukey hi how hi. are you I'm doing well <laughs> how are you um I'm good. I just wanted to say I love you more than a friend, and I kissed my favorite person of color today. That was fantastic. Who was your favorite person of color? White. Why are you telling people? 
No, I mean, was it like your mailman? Was it the you know the the, the guy who checks you out? At oh, the my boyfriend. Store? Oh, that's fantastic. That is wonderful. My How does your father feel about that? Teaching. That's why. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I am a fan of your uh, boyfriend. My father. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is, is, is your name Alexandria by any chance? No. Is this a lady? It's Kinky Loco, sir. I think it's Vince the Lawyer's yeah. kid. No, it's a lady. Do you want to say anything or that it? That's it. All right. That was fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you hung on for six minutes to say that wonderful well she did she kissed her favorite person of color today her boyfriend that's fantastic we're learning so much about the audience i gotta stop taking calls oh glad, you, glad you invested in a system for it sir <laughs> oh, no, did you, you sign a contract sir yes no there's no contract 10 years oh, but uh all right Ordo Monstrum, thank you for the $2. Let's all sing La Bamba and Wish and Hope. Oh, no. Stop it. <laughs> Wasn't that the the Big Bopper's plane or something? Or Buddy Holly? Yes, sir. Yeah. The night the music died, sir. Oh, no. What would the, what will they call John's accident? <laughs> the night alcoholism. <laughs> was the big. night the dabbler died. The night the dabbler died. Very the good. day the dabbler died. I'm so tired. Red473, thank you for the $5. Twitch poll ban me for my love of blood and stool. Introduce me to John, please. <laughs> what? what? Twitch police <laughs> ban me. Oh, Twitch police ban me for my love of blood and stool. Introduce me to John, please. Yes, if you're in AC, I'll introduce you. Was that a ministry album? I have no idea. Is that the love of blood and stool? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. The only song I really know by them is NWO. It was the land of rape and honey, but that's fine. <laughs> Mitch Connor, <laughs> member for six months. Love you more than a friend. Are you still on CPT? Oh, how dare you? Not on color people time. I had no internet. Big whole ordeal. Why? I didn't pay your bill, sir? Yes. No, wait. No. Yes. I. I yes, I paid my bill. How dare you? Uh, Pest, 199 Never trust the tiny hats. The tiny hats are watching. How does that mean? Surely, sir. Oh, those tiny hats. Speaking of other tiny hats, Captain Alex did reach 1,000 subscribers, so congratulations to Captain Alex. I do have to Ready. say that. Oh, there you go. Weird Medicine with Dr. Steve. $2 at Captain Alex in the, is in the his house. Hello, Captain Alex. Permission to come aboard. Permission granted. My captain, mine captain. I don't know. That's not really how it goes. But Delta Zero, $2 for AC. Wish I could give more. Record everything. No, thank you, Delta Zero. That is, I appreciate any, uh, any support. And yes, I will be recording a lot. Uh, I don't know how much. Live streaming will probably be done mostly from the room. Or uh, Melton's room. Or someone else's room. I know they, they frown upon using your phone for that in the casino, but I'm sure some people will be trying to do that. And I'm sure the second everyone goes, oh, there's Tuki over there, people are going to shove their phone in my face and go, oh, I'm live streaming. <laughs> so whatever. Uh, but yes, I will be recording a lot, and uh, we'll play that stuff when we come back. But yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. We're doing it. APAR, remember for three months, any truth be dabbler is the one in the Drake leak. What's the Drake leak? I I didn't watch it. There was some video with Drake. I don't know if uh, uh -oh. sure, yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's yeah, yeah, something like that. You guys fucking Drake Se fucking 72 inches, sir. Oh no. <gasps> Just like Tony. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh no, I, I don't even know what that is. I guess there's a Drake sex video. I have no interest in that. No. Am I the only one who really knows Drake from Degrassi Junior High? 
I don't no, even sir. know any of his music. You're not the only one, sir. Okay, I was going to say, I only know him as the kid in the wheelchair from Degrassi Junior High, and why was I watching that show at such an old age? It was before he was a singer. It was, sir. Or whatever he is. Singer. He started from the bottom, now he's here. Uh, yes, uh, Tukey called Drake a singer. What a fag. <laughs> what is he, an artist? He's an artist, I guess. Yes, the sir. artist known as Drake, motherfucker. <laughs> Purple Monkey Dishwasher became a YouTube member. Thank you, Purple Monkey. I love you. More than a friend. Eugene Breen. Oh, who's a good boy? Member for six months. How can you watch BMJ, Boss Man Jack, and want to gamble? Are you ill? Yes, I am. I'm jealous. He's been on such a roller coaster lately, and we'll get into it. Oh, I have so many clips. I got to really pick and choose because I have like literally 30 clips. Tiff, member for nine months. Nine months feels impossible. Big love to all three of you. To the Thanks, three of you. Thank you, Thank Tiff. You. Big love, love to you, back. And I love you, Van Doe. Thank you for my pictures, Van Doe. I'm going to have to showcase them. I got to get them on Instagram. There's a beloved Chata and one of Tuki's best friends in the whole world. His name is Van Doe. He sent me some uh, art, Tuki art, and I will be displaying that. It will probably be the thumbnail for the next Tukey Soup. So get ready for that, Van Doe. Thank you so much, buddy. I really, uh, Tukey really appreciates getting fan art. Uh, Dark Nugs, $2. Whoever has to sit next to Stuttering John will never fly again. <laughs> yes. What airlines is he on? Hopefully that's something bad that could happen to him also. Maybe a, a large person yes. seated Spirit. next to him. Either Spirit or Frontier, sir. So, so no recline. They're the worst. Actually, I heard of another hairline that's probably worse lately, but yes. Uh all the seven, way to Tampa. Yes. Yeah, 731, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. What's up? Uh so I was just calling. I'm not gonna be able to go to AC, so I was just wondering if the rest of us could have some fun. Mm -hmm. Can we start like an arrest pool to see who's <laughs> gonna get arrested first? Like yes. who will end up in jail in yes. AC? Because everyone's talking about streaming and the Borgata, which isn't allowed. People talking about fighting. Like, starting John's going to get just wasted and probably throw a fit somewhere. Like, mm -hmm, who's mm -hmm. going to, I mean, if starting John goes, but who's going to wind up in jail? Who's going to wind up in jail first? Like, That's do we have any questions on that? I mean, I'm, I'm interested. I, I would say, I would say big money, yes, would be on like a John or even John's passe or his pussy. Chad, a easy one, two, three is saying Chad is nine to five. That means you'd have to put up $9 to win five. Chad is a very big favorite for that. W what do you think, caller? Who, who, yeah. who would be your favorite? I mean, I think I mean, I mean, think Kevin Brennan, I mean, he has such a temper. And <laughs> I think he's going to get annoyed with all the fans trying to come up and talk to him. Mm -hmm. Like, he's used to people having to give him money to talk to him. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he's going to be surrounded with all these idiots who watch his show. Like, Interesting he's choice. He's going to blow a gasket and probably assault someone. You're right. Yeah. I think that's my like dark horse candidate that's, to get arrested. That's not you know? a bad call. He is very paranoid. He almost seems like like yeah. a frightened dog. That if you just you know he's just kind of cowering in the corner and just the wrong you know just wrong person comes up to him, he could snap. Yes, but he's I probably like, not I even going, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, do we know if Kevin is going? The last I heard, he said he was not going. He said he's going. Well, I mean, I I, I saw him on Carl's show. Like it sounded like after Broccoli gave him like a hundred bucks, he was kind of like, oh yeah, I'll go or something. Like I don't know if he said those words. Mm -hmm. They kind of backed down. Like he he was being a little like child, like he always is. He's like sixty years old. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He acts like more immature than my 14 year old sister. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Everyone's coming to get me. Everyone wants to get me. Everyone <laughs> thinks they're going to get me. What are they going to yeah. get? What is he talking Kevin, about? Kevin's wife. Kevin's wife should really take his phone away. That's what we usually do when she's acting up. I mean, oh, that is no, no. He is a grown man. That would never happen. <laughs> How dare you? Thank you for your call. And you should set up a. Okay. Uh, he doesn't act like it. I, 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 well, that is that is your opinion. Tuki is best friends with Kevin, <laughs> so I cannot confirm nor deny. But I think you should set up a, a Dabbler arrest pool on Dabbler's Anonymous or Hackverse Anonymous. One of those two. All right. All right. I love you more than friends. I'll try to figure it out. Bye. Thank you, Tuki. Thank you. Bye, Yay. Tuki. All right. Good call. Uh, Jim. Jim, you are on the air with Tuki. 
Oh, hey, you remember my name. My name. I did not. The uh, program told me uh, that your name was Jim the last time you called. So that's how I remembered. Oh. Isn't that cool? Anyway, uh, are are you are you going to initiate business negotiations with John by helping him? Am I gonna do a negotiation? What? Am I gonna do what? It's strictly business if you help John. No, if I'm you not... hump John, it's strictly business. No, I will not be humping John. I don't even I will go uh I don't advise touching him, sir. No, I will not touch John. I don't even want to go near I'd John. Keep away from him like you know, the COVID times. Like, yeah. Keep it's your... not it's no, no, it's not it's not sexual. It's purely business. Oh, how dare you? It's always sexual with you, Jim. How do you think I remember it's your not, name? No, it's not sex. How dare you? But I don't know. Like honestly, well, like, I mean, there was there was that one night in Kansas. Yes, there was that one night. Uh, I, honestly, I will I will just be hanging out. If people come up to me, I will talk to them. I will be cordial. Like, what am I going to do? I'm not going to say go fuck yourself. I mean, I did that to Kevin Dumbfuck. That was fun. And if Kevin Dumbfuck is there and tries to shake my hand, Kevin, I will do that again. You are the one I will say go fuck yourself to again. I so hopefully you are there. Yes. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know how I'd react because if someone said, Hey, if Kevin Com- Dumbfuck comes up to you to dab at DabbleCon, how will you react? I don't think before DabbleCon I would have said, I will tell him to go fuck himself and not shake his hand. But uh, that was how I well, reacted. Well, well, look, at the like, other, like, like, uh, but, but like, in, you know, at least in the animal kingdom, like, it's it, humping is a sign of dominance, it's not a sign of like, you know, sex. Yes. <laughs> Yes, but John is very litigious. So John is waiting for someone to touch him, even the slightest. But you can argue in court, sir, or your honor, it was strictly business. It was just me asserting myself over him. All right. Well, I will, I will think about that. I actually make money. That's true. Yeah, well, I will think about that. That is not a bad idea. And uh, thank you for your call. I love you more than a friend. But I am paying for these calls now. So I'm going to be more picky about how long I keep people on the line. I gotta stop being so nice. But no, I will not get anywhere near John. If John comes up to me and goes, uh, hey, Tuki, I wanna hey, uh, like what would he say? He wouldn't say anything. But uh, you know, Kevin's someone I might go up to and go, Hi Kevin, it's Tuki. <laughs> Just say it in my voice. <laughs> kind of like uh how you did to Ray. If uh, all, yeah. you know, talk to Ray for a little Hi. while then you I think you started talking like uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't remember who. We'll figure what it if, out. What if John invites you to his room to podcast, sir? I have been invited to John's oh. room already by Vince the lawyer. <laughs> There's supposed to be a party, right, with some food. Yes, Vince the lawyer is apparently gathering a bunch of people that John doesn't like and having a party in John's room. <laughs> He's gonna set it up while John's at the comedy show, I guess. So John comes back, Amazing. and everyone's there. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, that, it's gonna be very interesting. That'll be the the video to see, sir. The comedy show. I bet John makes that about himself. Yes, he'll be the big heckler. Oh yeah. I, well, John has said he's gonna go in the audience. He will be there. And yes, uh, I know Melton is is looking for someone to get at least audio. Even if you can't get the video, just put you know, turn on the voice recorder, stick it in your pocket. Will Tuki uh, be bringing his GoPro? Yes, I will have a GoPro. I have uh, some other video camera things. I'll have my laptop. We'll be live streaming, like I said, from the room. Um, But yeah, I'm recording a bunch of shit. But the problem is, I don't know if they're going to get us for recording stuff, too, in this casino. Like, they seem to be... Melon was saying that Vegas is very lax. Like, you could literally live stream from the poker table, which I think is insane. That's pretty nuts, but the, apparently Melton said you can do that in Vegas. AC is not uh, so, you know, accommodating. They're like, fuck you. We don't want any of that shit. So I don't know. But, uh, I'll, you know, even if I just jump on, I'm thinking of doing live updates every now and then, maybe even on Patreon, Patreon members, patreon.com slash Dabbler Network. You might get some exclusive updates. Like if I see John getting into an interaction with someone i might you know go run somewhere and just give an update go back to the room get tukey you will probably see me without my mask and how beautiful i am it's gonna happen i know it like i said the second people start realizing who i am they're just gonna probably shove a camera in my face 
So uh, if you don't want to. After they come, sir. Yes, after they come by my beauty. That is why I wear a mask. It's because I'm so beautiful that people would be distracted and things would start falling apart. Society would literally crumble because people would not be paying attention to things they should be paying attention to. And pianos. Two guys lifting a piano on a pulley up to an apartment would get distracted and look at me. And then they would let go of that piano would come crashing down on a cartoon cat or something. But you know, you get the idea. On Ray. Yes, on Ray. But uh, yeah, all right. Let's take another call. Hey, who's hey, this? this is Citizen M. Oh, hi, Citizen, Citizen M. M. Hi, Citizen M. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, what time do you get into the Bugatti? Uh, Sometime evening. <laughs> Sometime like early evening, I would say some, you know, I don't know. Oh, I'm here right now. All right. Oh, you're here? You're there? Night. I'm here. What yeah, I'm that? there. That is fantastic. <laughs> I think Melton mm -hmm. gets in in the morning or something. I think he's taking the red eye. So you will see Melton tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, it's be fantastic. He's... Okay. I'd love to see you see too. Uh, all right. I can't speak to you anymore. <laughs> I'll see you too soon. <laughs> Love you. Love you more than a friend. More than a friend. More than a friend, Citizen M. <laughs> All right, the great Citizen M. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, sir. Yes, I know. Jesus. They're gonna murder me. Please don't stab Tuki. Please. I'm enjoying <laughs> life. Weird medicine with Dr. Steve gifted five Dabbler Network memberships. Thank you, Dr. Steve. Whoa! But sir, I, I do have to say if you do get stabbed in, in AC, sir. Uh, you could go to all the. You can get all the updates on the Cardiff Electric YouTube channel, sir. Mm -hmm. You'll be covering it. Yes. If for whatever reason I cannot live stream from the hospital, I will be giving Cardiff live text message updates that he will then go live on his Patreon and charge you for. I'm thinking maybe Tuki, if it's possible, you could bring a laptop, and if you happen to go yeah. to John's room. Just set up the laptop and StreamYard, and we could uh, do a show watching oh. what's going on in the room. That we could do that. Yes, we'll we'll see. We'll, you know, endless possibilities. Uh, Kooky for Tuki, thank you for the four ninety nine. Staying up late for Tuki soup with the family because we all know Tuki is for the kids. I mean, Have not, fun in AC. Hacka hacka. Hashtag not, TWO. What? Not, not endless, sir. It's like four. What do you mean? You said there's endless options, but there's it's really not endless. I don't even remember. You couldn't live stream with a banana, sir. Oh, yes. choose your words better, sir. You're wonderful. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air with Tuki. <laughs> Me? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I was looking to talk to Dr. Steve. I just wanted to say what's up to Dr. Steve. I'm oh, sorry. I Big know. fan. Love you guys. Oh, I love you too. No, I don't know what happened. Dr. Steve wanted to, uh, he wanted to uh, call screen, but I think he got hung up and he can't. He can't come and call screen right now. So if you're expecting to call and talk to Dr. Steve, he is not here. Uh, I don't know if that's the same person, but I think I dropped him. Uh, caller, you're on the air. Hello? You are gone. I should move my mouth. Anonymous, you're on the air. Yo, 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 what's up, my man? Yo, 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 Big Black Newport on Venmo. What's happening? Hey, That's what's at up, Big Black Big Newport to you. Sure. Sorry. How are you, Big Black? Yeah, I just first want to say, what's up, my N-word? Who, who's that? What's up, my niggas? That was Ray. Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Ray? What's up, my <laughs> Noga? Uh, what... I want to ask you, how do you feel about... um? Kevin Brennan trying to um, wreck the Hackamania event in May, 31st through June the 2nd. I think that's crap. I don't like the tactic of if you work for me, you can't make money anywhere else. I don't like that. Uh, and again, I only heard about it right before I came on the show. I had no idea that he had a rant about Hackamania. But I, I don't know. Well, well, who cares? Because of shit. Why does everybody? But like half the people. Half the people that's on the event, like Ray, Earl Skakel, and Pat Dixon, they all are regulars on MLC, so mm -hmm. they all are going to have to make a decision now. Yeah, you but they shouldn't have to. They shouldn't have to make a decision. That's bullshit. These are comics who barely scrape by to make a living. 
If they can make money in other ways, they should be able to do it. I don't get it, but I don't know. I guess yeah, but he... Kevin feels that's, you know, they have loyalty to him. Then I guess they have to make a decision. You're right. That's why Tuki never wanted to be paid. Go? No, I don't know. I, I think, listen, uh, if, if you know, a steady paycheck from Kevin is worth more, obviously, than one-time event for Hackamania, but it's really going to fuck over Patrick Melton, and I guess that's why he's doing it. But uh, we're doing it. I, I don't know. I don't. I haven't heard Melton's response, so I'm very curious how Melton responds to this. But uh, if that's the case, so Mel- then I will not be doing MLC. You've heard it here first. Tuki will not be back on MLC. No hard feelings, Brennan. But if that's the way you feel, I have to stick with Hackamania. And I Melton. believe I believe Melton is surrendered, sir. What he surrendered? Yes. Oh, Kevin, take me back! Take me back! I want to be on MLC, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, let me ask you: Do you know about um, Earl Stakel's uh, first cousin? Uh, is that the one that's married to a Kennedy or something? I have no idea. Yeah, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Oh, wait. Wait, Earl is ma- is related to uh, Cheryl Hines? I don't know about Cheryl Hines, but I know that Earl's father and um, Robert Kennedy Jr.'s mother are brother and sister. Oh, oh, I thought you meant RFK. Isn't there an RFK Jr. now that's married to the woman who plays Larry David's wife or yes. something? That, Run, he's running for president, sir. That right. could be true. But, yes. <laughs> but Earl is related directly to Robert Kennedy Jr. They're, they're first cousins. Are they really? I, I knew he had some kind of alliance with the Kennedys, but uh, what does that mean? Does, Earl, Earl looks very poor. He doesn't have any Kennedy <laughs> money. I don't know. That's why I'm wondering. He don't seem to be rich, but he's like first cousin with Robert Kennedy Jr. I was wondering what's going on with his family. Does he ever see him or not? Big Black, are you going to come down to Atlantic City? Uh, you know me, man. I, I just stay in my, my four walls oh, in my 400 square foot apartment. Son of a bitch. I would love to see it, though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Do you have family? Yeah, I do, but I, I'm estranged. But, like, if you died... Strange. If you died in your apartment, when when and how would they find you? I guess they have to re- rely on the, the, some of the neighbors to smell me. Is that true? Like, would anyone besides the Dabbleverse go, hey, where's Big Black? He hasn't been around. Is there anyone else <laughs> that would say that? No. No, that's, well, maybe the, the Stern Show, once in a blue moon, they, they call me to see what I'm doing. Really? That's so sad. Yeah, that's about what, it. When was the last time you left your, your place? Well, I left my place um yesterday. I, you know, I have to go out occasionally to get something to eat. Yeah. Because if you order food in, it, the, 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 the fee is too expensive. You know, I can't afford that. Mm-hmm. Quit bragging. Go out to get food. Do you cook or do you just <laughs> order? Do you pick up food all the time? Yeah, I just pick up food. I don't cook no more. I used to cook when I first moved here, but um, I got tired of, of cooking. My, my refrigerator don't really work well, so I just pick up food that's already cooked. Tuki's depressed now. I don't want to talk <laughs> to you anymore. But have fun at, at, at AC. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Big Black. I appreciate that. And uh, have fun doing nothing. Well, I'll have fun watching your streams. Yes. Yes. And hit the bell because we don't know when we will be on. Hit the bell for Tuki. Hit the bell for NLO. Uh, I don't know who else is going to be there. Is that win by two guy going to be there? Right. Didn't he like show up um, to the he... parking lot last time and he didn't go in or something? No, no, he got thrown out. No, not yeah. AC. Oh, no, 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 not AC. I thought you were the, 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 last, the last event he was at. Yeah. What yeah, AC, he was streaming from the parking lot. You're right. Yeah, he, he was streaming from somewhere when they were in AC last time, but he wasn't like in AC. It was very odd. But anyway. All right, Big Black, thanks for calling in. And yes, please hit the bell. And uh, that's when you'll know when Tuki is going on. So thanks, bud. All right. Black out, bro. Black out. At Big Black Newport on Venmo if you want to help out Big Black. Sounds like he needs a new refrigerator and uh, maybe some DoorDash gift cards. Anything you want to help him out with. 
Uh, Kooky for Tukey, $5. Staying up late for Tukey Soup with the family because we all know Tukey is for the kids. Have fun in AC. Hacka, hacka. Hashtag TWO. Thank you, Kooky for Tukey. I think we're going to have a long show. I think so. so if, if anyone has to go, just go. I'm sorry. I was planning on two hours, but I don't think we're going to be able to do two hours. Mojo Buffalo, $5. Yo, on this date in 1991, I'm Too Sexy by Right Said Fred reaches number one on the Billboard charts. Remember? Yay! Speaking Correct. of which, OJ has ruined the surprise. There will be a surprise. Just uh, <laughs> some kind of You'll Remember the 90s show tomorrow on You'll Remember the 90s channel. I don't know what time or what we're doing. Like what were you going to say, Ralph? What? Like and subscribe, sir. I'm sorry. I'm talking over everybody. BYB Podcast, thank you for the $20. Okay, sir, I forgive you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Ralph. You guys rule. Quad did not call you tonight, by the way. Hashtag TWO, hashtag FCZ, hashtag FJOEYC. Oh, I really thought that was Quad Father that called her before, but I guess not. Uh, let's find out who this caller is. Thank you, BYB Podcast. It was a pleasure to do your show. Go check them out. Uh, BYB Podcast. Tukey was on there yesterday. Caller, you're on the air. Hey. Hey. So, uh, anytime that John interacts with anybody inside this universe, mm -hmm. he has some kind of grief. He has a grievance that he immediately has with somebody. Yes. So, after AC, he gets back on the air. Who, in your opinion, do you think is the first person he's going to lose his shit on or slighted him in AC or did something because it's probably going to happen. It would probably be Vince. It sounds like he's going to spend, mo if he goes, the person he's going to spend most of his time with in the dabble versus Vince. <coughs> Cause uh, Vince got the room and it sounds like he's going to, he, so, and it sounds like Vince has some plans, some surprises. So it's probably going to be Vince. Like I said, I don't really care about having any interaction with any of, the people that I don't really care about. Uh, I'm going there more to play cards with Melton. I was originally, I was hoping we could play cards, Melton and KB and some of the listeners, but I'm mostly going there to hang out with Melton and the listeners. That's why Tukey is going. I want to play cards. I want to gamble. I want to have fun. And I also want to see the drama. I had a big fear of missing out. So that's why I'm going. Okay. Definitely All right. Well, you can always interview John the way that Mike Morse is going to. Well, that's another. Yeah. Like I, I would rather people like that get in John's face just so I can assess how that's working out for them. And then, you know, maybe I, I, I listen, I can't say that there won't be a point where a puppet is not sticking a microphone in John's face, asking him stupid questions, but I'm going to play it by ear. <laughs> so, but thank you for the call. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the support. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's thrilled. What were you saying? Ho FOMO rhymes with homo? Allegedly, sir. Allegedly? Yes. Allegedly, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. You seem kind of low today, Ralph. Does he seem low to you, OJ? Yeah, it's really low energy, you, Ralph. He, he's, he's not cutting you off as oh, much as he normally does. Oh, I was saying his volume sounds low. Oh, I does thought you were saying he had low energy. Oh, I, am, yeah. I am down, sir. I think it's a combination. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Caller, you're on the air. Yes, I mean, Pinchy, loco, Tuki. Yes, Los Dientes del Niños. <laughs> so who's going to fight first in AC? Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on Zumok Mania. Oh, I want to put an end to Zumok Mania <laughs> once and for all. No, I have no idea. I, I mean, like, for, is someone going to bump into someone? Yeah, what well, do you think is going to happen? You think, like someone's going to look at mm -hmm, someone? Yes. Think Kevin's going to get involved? Like, what do you think, man? I think there's a possibility a stupid listener could get a little overzealous and might get thrown out. But I do think that everyone should steer clear of John because if you even brush against this man, he's going to use it against you and say that you assaulted him, you attacked him. So that's why I'm saying I am going to keep my distance from John. If he decides to come up to Tukey, that is fine. But I don't want to be anywhere near him where he could say, you pushed me or you bumped into me. I think that is a very good point, uh, El Jefe. I think that's a smart move. I don't know, though. What is your price to knock the fuck out of John? Like, 
Just Nothing. cracking. You know, you're going to get sued. You have a family. Oh, where, where, there's no price range. No. Where you're like, ah, you know, I, I'll take the $10,000 loss. No, it is like beating up a retard. Would you get him money? You know, I, I cannot sacrifice my career and my family just to knock out a retard. That would be horrible. What if I double dare you, sir? Oh, you well, then it's on. It? No, <laughs> he would not happen? learn. He would not learn, but did you hear Ralph just double daring me? So now I have to do it. If I call you a chicken, sir. No one you better y'all hold him. No one calls John Edward <laughs> Melendez a chicken. But uh speak. well, anyway, thank so, you for your call, El Polo Loco. Oh, wait, what and you... that way. No, what do you want to say? what you want to keep going? You can keep going. Oh, I want to ask, what did you guys do to Barry Ridd? What did we do to him? Yeah. He's, he's gone. He's, he's gone. Dead. Yeah, because of that horrible roast. Barry Ribs is <laughs> a guy. Like Barry Ribs should be live streaming. Barry Ribs could probably make a great career for himself being a lol cow. Like he's an idiot, right? I mean, he's not serious, right? He doesn't think he's really gonna be a comedian. He's like 98 and he stinks. Like he really stinks. He does. He probably smells terrible. Like Chad I don't Zubok like him. stinks. Let's kill him. No, we will not stop it. <laughs> Get off my phone, you marauder. Thank you for your call, SA. All right, uh five or uh eight five six, you're on the air. Good evening. I have a two parter question here. Okay. Well, statement. Okay. First of all, Brock Lee mm-hmm. is Carl from WACT. That's breaking news. Oh, interesting. And John's son and John's son has a beefy vagina. Oh, stop it, pussy boy. <laughs> you stop it, pussy boy. I love that John calls everyone pussy boy now. Obviously, he got that insult from all the kids at school calling his oldest son pussy boy or oldest daughter, whatever. Pussy Pat Dixon. Whatever the hell you call it. But yeah, he uses the term pussy boy a lot. It's fantastic. It's very, uh, Turbo has told me he's very offended by that term. I've heard him also revert back to uh, butt boy. Oh, but he says that is homophobic, so we will change that. No, he went back to it. Oh, no, he's a homophobe. I, yeah, I've heard him say it. Caller, you're did, on the air. Oh, he, he right. did also continue to dead name Caitlyn Jenner, sir. Oh, and no. They, did he really? Three times today, sir. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. So you're going to be here in John's room live, live podcasting with him? I don't know. I was invited to the party. Vince, the lawyer, said he is having a party. He's inviting some people, I guess, up to the room, and I have been invited. I don't know if I'm accepting the invitation. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to hump the midget first. What? And assert your dominance over that midget. Look at him like, like you are Napoleon. You are conquering territory. And then, after that, while John is live podcasting, you need to hump the living shit out of John. This is not sexual. This is purely business. You are asserting your dominance over. over. <laughs> Goodbye. The same guy who wants me to hump. He now wants me to hump John and hump Vince the lawyer. I could I wonder, probably do the hump I'm, Vince the lawyer. I'm, I'm wondering if this caller like goes places and just starts humping people. Yes. Yes, I believe he does. Uh, not I mean, a, obviously, not a horrible idea, sir. No, it's not. It would be very funny. Uh, Kyle, uh, thank you for the $2. Did you check out Steel Toe? April cried today. No, I was uh, I was watching Melton's show this morning, and I think he was covering them from another day. But uh, I know I'm not up to date with Steel Toe. Again, they were just kind of boring, Tukey. Everyone's so boring to Tukey, like even Opie. I can't follow all these boring shows, but I, I know we have to cover more Steel Toe. But Melton does such a good job of it. I feel like I don't need to do it. But I did not. Why did she cry? Did you anyone else see that? I, I did I, not. I saw her leave the show crying, but I just oh, saw the no. clip. Oh, no. That's horrible. Oh, so maybe it was today's <laughs> show he was watching. Caller, you're on the air with Tukey. Hey, Tukey, what's happening? Nothing much. How are you? I'm well. I hope OJ and Ralph are doing well. No, nah, they're gay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, look, man, uh, it's going to be wild in AC. I wish I could go. I'm in LA, so it's a little bit of a stretch. But uh, is anyone going to mistake you for Gino Bisconte? Yes. Yes, they will. Because I will at some point, not right away, but at some point during this trip, I will be disguised 
as Gino Bisconte. So, uh, yes, people will think I'm Gino, and that will be fantastic. I'm thinking uh, hopefully we can convince John that I'm Gino. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. You could do it, bro. You could do it. You guys look alike. Yes, we did. I, I do believe that somewhere down the genetical uh, line, our uncles sucked each other's dicks or something. We do have the same sloping <laughs> forehead and giant schnoz. So, but thank you for your call. I appreciate yeah, the support. Yeah, yeah. Yes, what? Can I ask you one more question? Sure. Can I ask one more question quick? Yes. So look, hey, we all love Carl. We all love Carl, right? Yes. Oh, you yes. You guys really dropped the ball, man. You guys dropped the ball, man. You make fun of people, you do clip. When he got cut on his live stream, I mean, man, that was incredible. And no, then he started was gaslighting it. everyone, saying it was cold. It was not incredible. Come on. He his his white one it first really was, man. He oh. got caught. He got caught. Caught what? He was playing hey, the mandolin. Listen. What did he get what caught? What if Relay was doing his show? Wait a minute. What if Sahu Relay was doing his show? And then his wife came in and admonished him on live stream. In that's front of different. Everybody. But that's Come different. Me. That's different. You've never seen her. Jenny Jingles, we've seen before. She's part of the show. Big deal. I don't know. I didn't see much of I mean, it was funny, I guess, that he said, don't step on my mandolin. And she asked him if he took a nap, I guess. You know, I, I get the whole, oh, he, she's his mom. But, I mean, it was not. It was. It just seemed. Did, you don't think it was getting forced out there to try and be something? You don't think they were trying to force it a little bit? Look, you're right. It was that, yes. you know, KB went a little crazy with it. And I'll tell you what, it was actually a really funny show. I'm not a big fan of him, but his show, that was funny. Wait, hold but, on. I'm, I got to read the script. This. I got to read the script that Carl gave me. Please deny all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing. yeah. Yes. So, no, I don't yeah. think any of it was very fun or funny. <laughs> it was not fun or funny. But, no, keep going. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I had to look at the <laughs> so, script that Carl it, gave me. It, 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 well, I think there is a script because. The sad part is Carl goes online and he's gaslighting us saying, oh, it was cold for sex. It wasn't cold for anything. Look, he got humiliated. The way that woman was talking to him, man, I mean, listen, if I had a stream with that many viewers, there's no way in the world my wife would come in and talk to me like that. Rub my back. It's okay. Oh, she Good loves job. him. He she loves her, him. He says to her, he said, I was doing a live stream, mommy. He's like scared of her. And oh, then she's like, it. it's okay. Good job. Good job, buddy. That's not what happened. You're a monster. Thank you for your call. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank right, you for man, your call. You. I appreciate it. No. How stupid. I uh, listen. It was funny, but it was not like you know. It was not the greatest thing. If she, you know, if she accidentally came, uh, you know, behind Carl and she was wearing a towel and the towel fell off, then I would understand. If everyone was going crazy, holy crap! Did you see she when she came back and she had a towel and then she lost a towel? Like I just don't, I don't see how her asking him if he took a nap or him telling her to watch his mandolin because he didn't want her to step on it. I don't know. It's just, it's just whatever. It, it was entertaining. I mean, it was funny, but it wasn't like, oh my god, we got to talk about this for a week. Did you? That was the craziest thing. Did you see? You you wouldn't say it would be it's going to become Carl's, you know, signature. His it's his gonna, his nickname. He's, he's not going to get called Nappy. Nappy. He's a nappy-headed mandolin. That's what he is. I have no idea. I don't know why. Again, I don't know why we're still talking about it, but everyone keeps thinking we're pussies because we won't talk about it. I just think Kevin did such a fantastic job covering it for 8 days that there was no reason for Tukey to do it. Just like how Tukey saw Melton cover uh, Steel Toe this morning, and he did such a great job. Tukey's like, yeah, there's no point in covering this. B. Dazzler, member for four months. Any disputes in AC should be settled with a 40-yard dash. Yes, we will do that. I will lose. Illegal Deagle, thank you for the $5. Good day. Did you know some guy was making a Tukey thread every day on 4chan's TV board for like a week? What? No. Is that good or bad? I, I don't believe you want to be on 4chan, sir. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know <laughs> if that's good or bad. I don't know. 
I don't know anything about that illegal deagle. Email me, tukisoup at gmail.com. Let me know what you're talking about there because I would very much like to uh, know what's going on. I did not hear about that. Caller, you're on the air. Is this Tukey? This is Tukey. Who's this? This is Forrest Gump. Hi, to- Hi Forrest Gump. Uh, hi, I've been working on my own Tukey puppet. Whoa! It sounds like goodbye, Forrest Gump. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for your call. Uh, caller, you're on the air with Tuki. Oh, hello. Oh, Cardiff. Hello there. Hi, Cardiff. So you need to do it like they did it in Italy. You need to divide the two and. The Vince lawyer is the Piedmont, and John is the Austrians. And you need to hump the living shit out of the Piedmont, which is Vince, and then hump the living shit out of John on live air. No, we're not humping anyone. <laughs> Dr. Steve, stop letting that guy through. No, Dr. Steve is not on the call screen. I think if something happened, Dr. Steve can't screen calls tonight. But uh, we still have our uh, our call line up. Uh, caller, you're on the air. Hello? It's me, did you? I just need you to do me one favor, man. When you go to AC, can you promise me one thing, man? Yeah. Can you? Yeah, can you please walk up to that short, no neck man and call me in word for me? I've been waiting for you to do it for so long. Come in. All right, now that I'm paying for calls, I'm going to be very picky about how long I can stay on calls. Call, you're on the air. Dude, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing good, man. This is Kenneth Pogue. Oh, Kenneth Pogue, how are you? Doing good, bro. I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Degrassi. Do you remember when JT got shot? Yes, I do. Wait, was that Drake? He's Aubrey, sir. No, no, no. JT, man. Oh, oh, I don't remember. Drake was Jimmy, bro. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't know. Well, that's why I thought JT. What, 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 what did you think about uh, what, what did you think about Sean and Emma? What, was, it, was it to be or no? No, it was never meant to be. Their love was something oh, that anyways, bro, uh, A lot of people are saying I'm dead. And uh, it's not cool. Oh, so this is the guy from Degrassi? No, it's Kenneth. No, no, Pogue, this right? is Kenneth Pogue, and I'm not dead. Oh, Kenneth Pogue, I forgot. Sorry, I'm not. I'm about two seconds from hanging up. Yeah, uh, I'm not yes. JT from Degrassi. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Oh, Kevin Pogue. Yes, no, we all thought you were dead. Kevin what happened? <laughs> uh, I was just buried in a pet cemetery. All right, all right man, I'm gonna go hit Stunt Joe up all right. later. Thank you. Oh God. YouTube has called. They say we have the worst callers in all of live streaming. So thank you all for that. That's some kind of accomplishment, I guess. But yes, we stink. Uh, all right. Uh, fuck. I guess we should do some boss man Jack. But how many super chats we have? I feel like we're really behind on super chats. Yeah, we are. Driven by demons, member for five months. C E W O. Thank you, Cardiff Electric World Order. I think it's Potato World Order. Calls Frosted Tips. Thank you for the $2. John Sun has a beefy vagina. P, 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 potato World Order. John Sun has a beefy vagina. TWO. Oh, that's disgusting. Pussy boy. Bob's Rusty Trumpet. $2. Cover the singing slow girl in the homeless tent. Cover the singing slow girl in the homeless tent. To look that up. Who is that? Is that the girl that Melton covers? The one from Chicago who's always pregnant. Joey Ray, $20 for Tukey Roulette. Green, zero, bet in AC. Sure fire, 35 to one payout. We're doing it. We'll do it, Joey Ray. I'll let you know how it comes out. Uh, what'd you say, single zero or double zero? Green zero. All right, we'll do the uh, single zero. Putting a 20 on it. 25 to one. We're doing it. Thank you, Joey. Ugh. Man, uh, Brian, $5. We want detailed descriptions of how bad Stuttering John smells in AC. TWO for life. 
That's well, the you're, thing. You're not going to get close enough, right? Well, I don't know. If John plays poker, there's a very good chance I could sit right next to him. Which well, beware, be because John is a grabby kind of person. So if you get close enough, he will. Yes. He will put his hands on you. Has John called Kate Meany today to remind her that she has a hotel room? He's done it about four different times now. <laughs> please, please, someone let Kate Meany know she has a room if she needs it. John will also be in that room, but he will sleep on the floor. Listen, I'll sleep on the floor. I ain't trying to fuck you, all right? Grizzlehorn, $5. How was H-Man Dan ready to fight, but also having surgery Wednesday? Seems odd and conflicting. Hmm. Are you talking about he has surgery this Wednesday, or he already had surgery this past Wednesday? The Wednesday after, I guess. It's after AC he has to have surgery. So. Oh, that is, well, he's taking a risk. Caller, you're on the air. Here we go. Yo! Yo! Hey, Tookie, this is Mule, man. What's going on? What's up, Mule? How, what are, what, do you have any new info on what's the radio? What's pissing, Mule? Yeah, what's got you pissing, Mule? Hey, man. How, look at how he's acted this week. Who, Ray? Uh, is... Yes. All right, let me set this up. So Mule is one of the original guys who has put together the map of Ray's travels between Ohio and New York and showing how coincidental it yes, is sir. that women keep disappearing on the same route of travel. So, yes, yes, Ray has been very yeah. angry the last couple of days at Airy Jane. We have gotten yeah. a, glimpse, a glimpse into the real murderous Ray DeVito. What what say you, Mule? What's got you pissing? I feel like his actions have reinvigorated, reinvigorated the. Uh, what was that? You said vigorated. <laughs> I, I misheard yeah. you. I thought you said something else. <laughs> all right you're killing me no i was gonna make this short and you're making it long uh haka, haka. yes <laughs> you all right Mule, let me get you back on, on track man. let me get you back on hey, track hey uh, one more thing one more thing Ray, shut one the more fuck thing. up one more thing one more thing yes i didn't know you could hear sclerosis happening john <laughs> John, <laughs> John bled tonight. What? Good night. Wait, from where? Where else? His butt? He bled tonight? Very likely, sir. Is that what he said? I believe so, sir. That's gross. Caller, you're on the air. All I'm saying is, yes, all I'm saying is, is you need to do Vince and John and the chocolate covered cherries. Is this the whole thing? Demonstrate that shit. Like Go into guy. that like you did in Waterloo, boy. Is this the humping guy again? No. Goodbye. I miss Battletoad, sir. Yes! Oh, God, we have the worst callers ever. Mark Abatista, $5. Stuttering John, $500. Five large. His flight was four in change, and he got Brock Lee to throw in a hundy to gamble with. Not sure if he got any money for Hitman Dan. No, and he also said that he trusts Brock Lee. So he hasn't gotten any money from Brock Lee yet, but he trusts Brock Lee because he's talked to him on the phone. He knows Brock Lee because he's talked to him on the phone. And he has, and he has a has very a admirable job. Admirable job. So it cannot be Carl. Carl no. has a stupid job. Allegedly, sir, Stutter and John's flight out of LAX has been delayed three hours. And he Whoa! Not at his connection. Uh oh! Yeah, I was gonna say, how long was his connection? How oh, do you know that? that? Where where are you getting that, you know that? Bro? Somebody somebody put it in the chat, and I uh, I did some investigating, and it's true. No way! Oh, that stinks. Well, that sounds like John might be delayed a little bit. Like why? Kevin got, Kevin got his wish. That's things aren't going very well for his plane. Not already. a good start. Not a good start. Again, Tuki is supposed to get some snow, so Tuki might get fucked in the ass as well. But we're hoping not. Mark gifted one B Dabbling Network membership. 
Is four inches of snow enough to cancel the flight? I don't think so, right? Maybe four inches is fine, sir. Four inches is fine. Yes, we need that drop. Thank you, Mark. Fine. Angry Dad, five dollars. F. Mary Kill, Gonzo, Animal, Muppets, and Raggedy Ann. Uh, I would fuck Raggedy Ann. I would kill. No, I would kill Raggedy Ann. Fuck Animal and Mary Gonzo. I don't know. Shut up. Stupid. <laughs> waste your money. Why would you waste your money? <laughs> Well, you're I not hate a puppet. F. That's, a, that's a good question for a puppet. No, it's not. I hate F. Mary Kill. I hate that is the stupidest game. It's not a game. It's just stupid. <laughs> but thank you for the five dollars. But please don't waste your money again. Mule, thank you for the two dollars. Set stuttering John phone alert to pisser. Please, sir. I don't know what that means. Yeah, that thank means. you. We will. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mule. Thank you, Mule. And stop putting your penis on the internet, you maniac. <laughs> Even if it's just the tip, it's disgusting. Why is he pissing all the time? I don't know, but no matter what he does, that fucking laugh. You can you <laughs> just. I mean, what are you gonna it do? makes me laugh. It makes me laugh too. But why does he want his penis on the internet? I don't know. John's ready. Can whip can. Uh, two dollars. Definitely play live Plinko in AC. I promise I'll juice you. All right, all right, we're doing it. I gotta set up a steak count though. That Plinko sounds horrible though. Did you just see my face? No. Uh, I hope that not. Plink- oh, it's, oh, it just seems so horrible. It's just a money suck. Like it just sucks all the money into the middle there. Sir, if you were gonna play Plinko, how high of a stack of Plinko chips would you buy? How many inches? <laughs> Uh, 72. <laughs> 72 inches of Plinko stack. I, th- I think four inches would be enough, sir. Oh, yes. Four inches. Uh, four four inches. inches is fine. Yay! We have it! We got it! We got it! We're doing it! Look at how fast my team is. I have the greatest team in all of live streaming. Cirrhosis, uh... Right? Is that Cirrhosis of the River? Oh, yeah. Cirrhosis of the River. That's a good name. $5. Stuttering John is claiming his plane has been delayed several times already. Groundwork being laid to back out. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Someone's sir, not coming. I feel bad, sir. Why? I feel like I took credit for the Robin drop. It wasn't me, sir. I have some help tonight. Oh, that's fine. It's Joanne. <laughs> Joanne's here. Say hi, Joanne. Oh, hello, Joanne. <laughs> Say hi, Joanne. Hello to everybody from Ukraine. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hello, Joanne. Hello to my nephew, Tuki, from the Americas. Oh, that's fantastic. My Aunt Joanne. Fuck, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Myrtle Man is, Myrtle Man is $5. Watch out here, Mr. <laughs> Tuki. I heard that orange feller done pissed in his own suit. Cause him blamed it on old Kevin Dump. Fuck, he's a rascal. I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, Myrtle. Uh, no, Dump Fuck actually admitted he 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 knew he did it. Yes, yes, he did. Uh, caller, you're on the air. All right, this is a serious question this time. Is Tuki actually going to? interact with john if you come across john or is it just going to be the dabbler that's down in uh or over wherever the fuck atlantic city is he's going to interact with rocco i mean he'll interact with tukey if tukey's only going to be really out for shows like if we do a show in someone's room like i'm sure we'll do a show in melton's room i'll bring tukey tukey will be there but i'm not going to bring tukey like out to the casino i might try and do some stuff with tukey in the casino at some point but seriously like i think they're they're not they don't put up with bullshit you know what i mean like casinos don't want your bullshit they just want you to fucking spend your money and get the right, right, right. so but i no, i i understand yeah they, they, do, they just want to gobble your money but if, yes. if if you do this live show with with john you absolutely must have tukey yeah, I mean, if I do a live stream and John is there, well, I'm sure Tukey will be there. But if you're talking about, like, interacting with John just in the casino, like I said, I don't really have plans to go up to John. But if he comes up to me, I, I'll be cordial. I'll, I'll say, hi, John. You know, I'm the I'm Tukey. Hi. Love you more than a friend. I don't know. But uh, I'm but, not. But, but, this, but then you're. But, but then Bedevil's face will actually be shown. And he will dox you. Oh, I know. Uh, no, I I expect that's going to happen either way. 
I expect that. So, like I said, once people know who I am, they're probably just going to take pictures or try and live stream real quick just to go, oh, here's here's me dabbler. You know, like, Vince is going to do that for yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm expecting that. It's not a big deal. What am I going to do? People who have gone to the live shows have seen I, it. I, I, I think I'm one of the few that actually does not subscribe to Reddit and they haven't gone to live show. So I, I can't relate to the speak. Well, then do not watch any of the shows this weekend because, yes, there's a very high possibility that you will see B. Dabbler, El Harible, Tuki in all his beautiful glory. But uh, I'm going to try not to make that happen. Mm. I'm going to try not to make that happen, but, you know, what can I do? I'm only one man. So thank you for your call. Are you, You're you not going to be an ACM taking it? <laughs> No, I I have bigger plans. I've I'm doing much larger things oh, and bunning is tight. So oh, look at you, bragger. Well, what's thank your you name? Call. Yeah, what's your name? Oh, I'm not bragging. This is this is money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's my name? Sure. I'm Jim, the one that wants you to hunt the fuck out of Jim. Oh, you, you son of a bitch! Show. You son of a bitch! <laughs> yes, I uh, I've caught on to your area code now, Jim. Dare you? Uh, all right, one more call, and then we'll do uh, some boss man Jack. Caller, you're on the air, bro. It's it's Kevin Pogue again. Uh, real quick, real quick. I, I just wanted to say that um, I'm on board with that uh, humping for dominance thing. Uh, just just throwing that out there. Right, Still not thanks, dead. Thank Bye. you. Goodbye. I'm gonna start blocking calls. Can I ask the callers if you're Disconnected quickly the first time you call. Please don't call back. <laughs> yes, I get it. I get it. You want to keep calling and fucking with uh, me. And that is fantastic. It's wonderful. Tuki's so happy. as friends. But uh, all right. Uh, let's do Boss Man Jack. Let's do Boss Man Jack. So because of the Atlantic City trip, I wanted to do a lot of Boss Man Jack. I didn't think we would start two hours into the show. But I'm going to be very uh, picky and choosy over all my clips. But the last time we left you, Boss Man Jack was uh, threatening to quit steak and to go to another provider. Right. What do you call it? BG? I don't remember, but I do remember he said they were going to give him like three times the amount that he was getting from steak. Yes. They said that he, he was going to get 500, no questions asked. Then if he lost that, he would get another 500, no questions asked. Then if he lost that, he'd get another 500. So in, in theory, he would be able to bet 1500 bucks a day, which is insane. So I think he literally did it for a day, and he found it to be incredibly sketchy, and this is where we pick up. Holy fucking shit balls! I'm back with steak? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The boss man Jack is back with steak. The goats, the kings, the best casino in the world. That's right. I'm back with steak, baby. And life is good. Let's fucking go, guys. How's everybody doing, man? Welcome to the motherfucking stream. Hope y'all are doing fantastic. All my subs are looking lovely today. Yes, sir. Well, let's get on steak and see what life's looking like. Let's see what things are going on here. I'm not taking calls anymore, Dr. Oh, shit, Steve. zero balance. What the fuck is that? I have to head on over to the vault. Oh, shit balls. What the fuck is that? What the hell? What is that, dude? Holy crap. That's a lot of dough. So I have no idea, but he opens up his vault to show that he has $4,500. Hmm. I don't know where. So, he, so apparently Steak did give him a better deal. He went over to that other place where I believe they didn't even ask him for ID. So it's a very sketchy, uh, whatever that other place was. I don't remember the name, and I don't even want to say it, because, uh, yeah, I, apparently it was very sketchy. So he came back to Steak, and Steak gave him a better deal and has been giving him more money. I don't know if all that $4,500 is from Steak, but uh, I was very surprised to see that he had that amount of money. So what better way to celebrate having that amount of money then by playing a new game, a digital wheel. Uh oh. Have we seen this? I don't, I don't know think so. Him. I don't know if we've seen him play this wheel. Let's find is, out. I mean, all these 
games are just basically click and see if you want or not. I mean, I guess that's any gambling, but this is insane. Hero type 10. Okay, it's just like on, on BC. Uh, okay. I, I don't remember seeing go. this. I don't remember seeing this either. So he's spinning it and he wants to get in one of those colored sections. White people are so scared. Black people. I mean, one of the bright colors, not the gray color. A gray color is zero, and those other uh, colors are different times amounts. Really fast. Lots of losses. And 40. So he's doing a $40 spin now. Yes. Oh, he got times two. Come on, one more 40. Then he lost. Yes, one more 40. Times two. Come on, do an 80. Fuck it. Oh, my God, do another 80. Oh, my God, do 40 then. Bro, what the fuck, man? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Dude, all in. Come on. All in. What? Oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? I'm not playing a... Ri <laughs> Bro, are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? Are you fucking kidding me right now? So, he lost whatever he took out of the vault. And now he's taking about out another 300, I believe. And I think it's showing that he only has 3,000. But he started with 45. So he must have lost something before the wheel. But uh yeah, man, he 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 does not. I don't know where this ends, except for really bad. Uh so he that was awful. That's what he said. He said the wheel was awful. I love that he's always surprised when he loses everything. Yes, he's always <laughs> shocked. But then he he talks about how awful these games are, and then he deposits more money and plays the same game. Here we go. That was awful, dude. I'm only trying one more time on the originals, bro. That's literally it. They're gonna, it's gonna climb. You know, we all know they can juice. <sighs> Come on, bitch. Back to the wheel. Back to there the you wheel. Go. There you fucking go. Four timer. Do a fifty now. Come on, fifty. Come on, do a hundred. Oh. So now he has lost that four timer because his four timer was a twenty-five dollar bet. So he won a hundred bucks. He lost. He lost all that. Plus another hundred bucks. So he's down. He's down now to his last hundred. Oh my God. Do another hundred. Bro. Oh my God. There you go. Oh, there you go. There oh, you go. A little bit of a streak. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. God, the lost streaks are huge. Oh my God. Another one. An dude. What the fuck, dude? I've already <laughs> lost 1.2 bands. What the fuck? Are you serious, dude? That's a lot of fucking money, bro. Is it, though? You don't seem to really understand that. But, yeah, so now he's down. Now he's saying he's down 1200 bucks, all because of the stupid wheel. Literally just clicking and hoping a wheel, a digital wheel, not even a physical wheel. At least if someone was spinning a physical wheel, I could kind of get it. At least you could watch them leaning on it a little, sir. Right. At least, yeah, or see the weights behind the wheel when you go to the back of it. But, uh... Let's see how he'll do in limbo. How low can you go? Go limbo. Yay. Limbo. -os. So limbo is a game that we have shown and I really don't understand it. Like we always say all these games are basically click and see if you won or see if you lost. Right. This They're all the same basically, but right. yeah, we, we don't We're Okay. We've shown this one, and I yeah, I don't understand what's going I on. I don't understand I, what is happening. Yeah. Is he clicking to stop it? Is he clicking and it randomizes and then stops? It just it, this all seems like if hard. anyone in the chat can help us out, if you can figure it out, let us know. Uh huh. Uh huh. But uh, yeah. So let's see. Starting out with three hundred. Let's see how much he bets. Thirty. Thirty dollars. So there you go. But why? So he lost. And it said 1.23 times. But he can't but, lose more than he bets. Right? But, it, but is it negative because it's in the red? Yes. Okay. So red is bad and green is good in this world of stake. Right. But I don't know why it would say times 1.23. Because let's see when he goes. No, see, it, it just took the 30. But then when he wins, he wins three times point seven seven times his bet. I guess. But then it doesn't even look like he got that. I don't know what is happening here. There you go. Oh my god. Holy 
Like at one point, it just said 21.95 times in green, and he didn't get crazy. But he has 420 now. Yeah, I don't get it. But what is 20, 20 something times 30 would be 600 something. So, yeah, I have no idea what we're watching, but he seems to not care. And as long as it'll take his money, he'll do it. Shit, this bitch is fucking squirting. Oh, yes. That's another thing. Bossman Jack seems to know a lot about bitches, pussies be squirting. And he talks about it a lot and how good your mother's pussy is. I've been watching this guy every day for about two months almost now. I don't think he's even showered once. I don't think he leaves his house. How does he know how pussy be squirting? <laughs> what did that uh what did that chat say? Uh let me go back. So stop trying to figure out the game. Uh, LOL. Just, just play the video. I know he's addictive. I love this shit. I can't stop watching him. Start with chat. What did I just start with? 200? 300. No, you started with 300. It? Stop trying to make it better. You started with 300. I mean, actually, you started with 4,500, and you're down to, like, 3,000-something. What's this game called, sir? Limbo. L-I-M-B-O. Limbo. But he's just putting an amount. So right now, he's wagering 60. It says 5.53 times in green. Oh, my God. He's up to four. Come on. Bullshit. No way. And, and this yes. idiot seems to know these, what's going on. That's, yes. that's I don't know, thing. does he? I don't know. Oh, my God. Dude, why well, can't get a win streak on the big ones ever? Why is that, bro? It's almost like it's rigged. Fuck you, dude. This is so fucked up, man. This doesn't make sense. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Come on, dude. Oh, God. Another 300 bucks in about... 38 seconds i think that clip was so things are going well things are going well for our friend austin better known as boss man jack uh so he's losing so what better thing to do when you're losing stop what are you a pussy (laughs) no you play digital dice duh oh of course in fucking insane how much i just lost so fast bro that's insane have we ever seen him win on digital dice? dice but I'm not going to do that. What? Have we ever seen him win on digital dice? I mean, he wins sporadically, but he never... He His big thing is, let's streak the green. Streak the green. That's right, one of his bad phrases. But I feel like, from what we've watched, he's only won on Plinko. Yes, and some random slots. But yes, mostly he's won... He won his big hit was one bet of $31 on Plinko when he hit the times a thousand. Right. That was his biggest thing. Salty dog. My God, OJ is horrible. No wonder Carl hates him. (laughs) But yes, in the majority of the clips we've watched, Dice is probably one of his worst games, but he always goes back to it. And Dice is another game that I'm only now starting to understand it. The Dice can be anywhere from like 1 to 100, and anywhere between 1 and 49, he loses. And anywhere between 50 and 100, he wins. It's all smart. It's all very stupid. I mean, it can be, but it can also be very bad. Thank you, Lobster. I'm glad you like the music. Hello, Raw. I hope you're doing fantastic today, bro. I got banned from his chat for calling him, for saying he listens to pussy music. But, uh, okay, so I think he loaded up with another 200 or 250. I can't really see. Yeah, I should do some slots after one of these. Oh, 250. So these are all $25 bets. Dude, come on. Let me get rid of the banner. There it goes. Come on. Oh, my God. There it is. Yes. Yes, guys. 200. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit balls. Yes. Oh, he's up to the 475. He's up to 500. He's up to $50 bets. 525, 425. No! $100 bet. He's down to 225 Oh, my God, dude. 125 No way. Come on. Oh, my God. Dude, are bet. you? $25. I don't think he's dude, made a good decision in increasing his bet. At any what? Time. Are, 
Oh my fucking god, this is oh embarrassing. My fucking I have god. lost two thousand dollars, dude. He's lost two thousand dollars. He started with forty five hundred. He's now down to twenty five hundred. He is reloading though. He's no pussy. Don't you dare call boss man Jack a pussy. He's no pussy. So he's loading up for another twenty five uh two fifty. Uh everything's fine. So let's keep Dyson. I don't understand how it could be so bad. But it's totally fine. It's totally fine. I just uh be very careful. Cause that's fucking bad. I just lost two and a half thousand dollars on this shit, dude. Almost, dude. Two thousand dollars almost. Wow, that's crazy, man. Wow. Come on, man. Please start with a win. Come on, dude. It's already losing more than it's winning again. Who the fuck? Like every time, bro. Hundred dollar bets. Up to three hundred. Oh my god. Oh Down my god. Oh, of course, get this up. Thank you very much, my boy. One twenty-five. One hundred. Ridiculous, dude. One hundred. Oh my god. And I'm gone. going off. I'm getting off, dude. This is bad. <laughs> this is this is not even. This doesn't even make sense, dude. What the fuck, dude? Oh my God! I'm down. A, I'm down two thousand dollars. What the? F no, you're down twenty five hundred dollars. Before you, before that last one, you were down two thousand dollars. And even as he says, "I'm gone. I'm done." As he's saying, "I'm gone," he's reloading. The fuck is this, dude? Why would it be so bad, bro? What the fuck? This is a disease. This is obviously a disease. But like Norm Macdonald said, the great late the late great Norm Macdonald is a disease where you can win a bunch of money. But yes, when you see Tukey in this manner on AC, please take him away. Say Tukey, you've had enough. You can't play digital. Guess a number between one and a hundred anymore. I'm sure they have something like that. <laughs> that would be amazing if they do have some kind of digital plinko. I'm all about it. They probably do. I'm sure they do. Uh, you think so by now? I don't know. I haven't been to like a, I haven't been to like a real casino in so long. So, all right. Here's uh here's our next clip. Our next clip is entitled "Dice is fucking bullshit." God, man. Oh, he's starting to figure Please it treat. out. No. <laughs> That's gone. It's gone. He's saying it's gone before it's even gone. There you go. Oh, he's up. There you three go. There you go. That more often, dude. Quit. Please. We're up your bet to 100. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That is bullshit, dude. God, man. It's gone again. What the fuck? This is crazy. This is that crazy. Is crazy, dude. I'm throwing a band on there, dude. I don't give a what fuck. What the fuck? How is that happening? So when he know. says a band, a band is $1,000. Okay. So now he's reloading for $1,000. Literally 30 seconds ago. And literally, listen, I know this is edited, but it's pretty much in real time. I just edited them into edited them into clips so they were easy to play. But this is basically happening in real time. And thank you to Black uh Black Man Jack. That is a channel on YouTube. There's a bunch of channels who clip Boss Man Jack. Because Boss Man Jack, one, kick videos are very hard to pull. Uh, none of the programs I have will pull a click a kick video. And also, like the other day, he streamed for 20 hours straight. He was gambling for like literally 20 hours. And it's impossible shit. to find things. But these guys are doing the Lord's work. Uh, boss Man, uh, Lost Man Jack, Black Man Jack, and Boss Man Crack. Those are all YouTube channels that I use. Thank you guys very much. You don't even know that I'm stealing your hard work. But I am transforming it just like Pussy Boy. But uh, all right, here we go. So we all know that Dice is fucking bullshit. But what about when Dice rules? Let's fucking go! Oh, be with me. Lord be with me. Yeah! Do one more! Yes! One more! So he's doing $500 bets right now on Dice. Oh, no. oh my god! Let's fucking go! I'm fucking out! I'm fucking gone! He did it! He did wow. it! He's up to 2000 He did it! I'm fucking gone! I'm fucking gone, dude. I'm fucking gone, dude. Oh my god, yes. All right, that's fine. I still lost like fucking seven hundred fifty dollars. I don't give a shit. Let's do another two fifty, please. Hey, if I lose, I'm out. Back. I swear to God. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, dude. One more. Come on, dude. One more. Oh, I'm out. I'm fucking out, dude. Fuck that. 
I should have wrote another 500. I would have won again, but that's okay. Oh, always, <laughs> always. Wow. I should have done this. I would have won more. What about all the times you lost so much? But yes, he he was a, he pulled some $500 bets. He hit about three in a row. He's done. I'm done. I'm out. He leaves the room for about, I don't know, eight seconds. And then he's back in with another $250 bet. I love him. I need him to come to AC. We should get him to Hackamania. All right. So now that he's up a little bit. And ruin his chances of going on MLC, sir. Oh, yeah, that's true. Never mind, Austin. I want you to be able to make your 150. So don't come to Hackamania. Uh, so uh, he figures, hey, I'm up so much in dice. Let's take this action over to uh, Blackjack. Four, five, or six. He yeah, she ain't bad looking. Five hundred dollars. Oh, bet. you got a nice eighteen, nice double there, boss. Oh, I got a big ten. Let's fucking go, chat. Holy fuck! Give me ten. Ten, please. Yeah, fucking twenty-one. Wow. Oh my fucking god! No way, guys. Holy shit! A twenty-one. I won. I fucking won it. Oh my god. Yay. Holy shit, dude. Holy fuck. Twelve hundred bucks. Nice. So back to dice. Hundred on dice. Oh, 100, no. 100 more. 100 more. 100 more. 200. No. <laughs> Fuck it. 500. Go for it. Yeah. yeah! Oh my fucking God, dude. Yeah! Holy shit balls. Woo. Risk it for the biscuit, baby. Risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> He's doing it. Our good friend Austin is doing it. I think he might be up a couple of bucks now from the 4,500 that he started with. This is it. Things are all coming up. Austin, nothing will ever ruin this. Well, maybe once he starts yelling, let's get it back, chat. Then then maybe he needs to, you know, maybe things aren't going so well. Get it back. Get it back. Yeah! Let's fucking go. We got it right back, baby. Woo! Do another one. No, don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to want to win it back. Then you're going to lose two in a row, bro. You're going to lose two in a row. No, I fucking won't. I will win one more motherfucking 500, and you're going to get the fuck out of my way, bitch. He's literally having conversations in his head. He's having conversations with the chat in his head. He knows he's going to lose it all, but he's still yelling at himself to not be a pussy. No! Fuck! Fuck! All in! No, don't do it! 250! No, 250! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy <laughs> fuck, my life. 1,000 pull. 5,000 Lois. Fucking hell, dude. Fuck! Fucking hell? Fucking hell. All right. Well, he is up. He's up a couple of bucks. He's up to 5,000 now. Again, he started at 45. He was down to like two. He's up to 5,000. 6,000. Well, I don't know. No, I think he has 5,000. He's going to take out that thousand. So then he'll have four. You know what I mean? He hasn't taken out that thousand yet. It says 6,000. Oh, it does say 6,000? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I can't. Yeah, I can't see it. Uh, okay. Then he has 6,000. Wow. Even better. He's up 1,500. This is crazy. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's pretty smart. Right. Maybe we should all be playing dice. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we should all be following Austin's system. Obviously, it takes a little time, but eventually it works. Dice, dice, baby. How would I go back in there? I won the 500 right off the rip. God damn, son. Woo. I'm about to. I'm about to fucking dip out of here, bro. Skedaddle in the wind. Yeah, I know, Dinix. Yeah. Nine two seven four zero eight two do here we go. I'm gonna start with a four twenty blaze, please, Lord. Yes, sir. Now go to one hundred five. Tactically lose that and go for another four twenty. Oh no! Oh, hit it again. Oh. oh, hit it again, dude. Please oh. pray. Oh, oh, hit it again, pussy. Hit it again, pussy. Oh, come on, dude. Two tens, please. <laughs> Come on, there you go. There you go. Now hit a 420 blaze and get the fuck out of there. No! 105. Now 420. No. Yes. 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 Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Holy fucking shit balls. Holy shit. Do a 210. Oh my god. Do another. No, do a 50. Do a 50. Yep. Now do a 200. 400. Oh. oh my god, one more. No, one more. Oh. No, oh. what the fuck? Come on. God damn it. 
Owen. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What the fuck? No. Oh my oh. fucking god. It happened so fast. Why didn't I leave, bro? I was up a wreck. I was up to seven again. I was up to seven again, dude. What the fuck is wrong with me? What is wrong with Boss Man Jack? Besides being one of the most prolific gamblers of our generation. What is wrong with this poor boy? It's it just showing it will never be enough. None of this. It will never be enough, no matter what the number is. But uh, we got to do something, OJ and Ralph. We've got to do something to make it back. <laughs> 250, please, Lord. Yes. No. Just yes, yes, yes. Yes. Come on, please, please, please. No! Oh, my God. Come on. He's going to lose again. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There you go. No. 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 What the fuck? Bullshit. Dude, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Dude, I gotta do something here. I gotta make it back. Oh, no. We gotta do something here, guys. There's no option. We're Go not losing this second game. Stack, that's for damn sure. There's no option. He has to make it back at this game specifically. You're right, OJ. Why does he just go to a different game? Can you imagine if he didn't have the self-control to only take out 500 or 1,000 at a time? But I don't even know why. Because that's the other thing. Like He starts withdrawing at some point during this whole roller coaster and it's like why are you even pretending that once you lose all the money you have you're not going to just take this money right back like why even withdraw it but yeah i don't know i like do you think that works out better in his favor to just put a, you know take out 500 at a time i just think Could it slows be, him down i guess it's slow. i don't know nothing seems to slow him down cuz he never stops until he's out like he barely ever goes, oh wow, I'm up two thousand dollars. I'm out. Like he did. We saw him do it a couple of times, but then he's right back in. They suck him back in. It's almost like this is a disease. And like we have said before, if you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call one eight hundred Gambler. Bet with your head, not over it. That's what Tuki said. Yay! All right, that makes us feel better, a little better about watching. And analyzing someone's gambling addiction. I felt like I had to say that. Uh, but uh, here we go. Uh, another long dice. Says, uh, I don't know what this says. Let's just watch. I'm already at the fucking low point I want to even get to. Which is our fucking start, dude. Holy fuck. All that profit gone. But we're about to get it back. Yeah, so he's basically starting over at 4,500. Everybody pray for me. I'm going in head. Yes, pray. Forget about these starving children or <laughs> the people of Ukraine or, you know, the whole Shuli versus the Shuli thing. Pray for boss man Jack. Strong. Come on, baby. Big 500. Please, dude. Please. Yes. No, hit another one. No, dude. Yes. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Come on, dude. Please. Yes, come on, dude. Come on, please. Yes, please, please. Please, dude. Two Gs. 2.5. Three Gs. <laughs> oh, my God. 2.25. Holy fuck. Come on. Holy shit. 500, please. No. 500. Yes, come on. Yes, three Gs. Come on, dude. Please, 250. Two, 125. 125 again. 500. Yes, two Gs. Oh, my God. No. Oh my fucking god. Holy fuck. Come on. There you go. Come on. Oh my god. 500. Oh my god. What the fuck? There you go. There you go. Oh my fucking god. Oh. That hurts, bro. That hurts. <laughs> you were that at $3,000, you retard. Come on, come on. Come on, bitch. Don't do that. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Oh my god. Please. Please. No, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, dude. We got this. We got this. Come on, dude. Don't do that. There you go. There you go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Streak it. 500 streaks. 500 streaks. Come on. 500 streaks. No. No. 
Oh my god, oh, dude! Oh what god. the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> it's almost like I'm doing something wrong. Where's the game genie on this? Oh, oh it's a roller coaster of emotions because you're like, yeah, he's up, and I'm not even. I'm not against Austin. I know he banned me from his channel for asking why his music is so gay, but I'm not. I am a friend, Austin. I want you to win. It's exciting when you win. It's crazy when you lose. I mean, it's exciting when you lose too, but I want you to win. Cause I don't know how long you can do this without winning at least a couple of times. Uh, dice don't fail me now. Oh my fucking God. I just lost three grand in the fucking matter of a second, dude. Holy shit, man. I'm shaking right now. What the fuck? Come on, man. I need a win streak. Come on, baby. Headstrong. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Come on, bitch. Don't be a pussy. Oh, my God, dude. I got to go, guys. This is insane. Oh, whoa, I'm about to do he... another 500, dude. Go, guys. Wait, so he just put in 500, right? On one, one... on one roll, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so he put in 500, and he did one roll of 500 and lost. Come and on, man. Come on, dude. Come on, bitch. Don't be a pussy. Oh, my God, dude. I got to go, guys. This is insane. I'm about to do another 500, dude. Come on. Don't fuck. No, you just said you were going to go. Don't do another five. Again, if you see Tukey in this situation in this uh, this weekend, please pull him away from wherever he is. I can do this, bro. I've lost like fucking eight in a row, bro. Come on, dude. What the fuck? Please, dude. Please let me get back up there. Please, dude. I'm about to climb back up, dude. It's going to happen. Come on, dude. Miracles can fucking happen, bro. Okay. Miracles can fucking happen, dude. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. That's good. That's good. Come on. No. Oh, my God. Dude. Oh, my fucking God. What the fuck is this, man? No way, dude. No way. No way. No way. I thought everyone gets rich off of carnival games. What is happening? Why isn't this working out? Uh... Oh my God. OMG, bro, this ain't happening. And boss man Jack quits. He quits forever. No. Yes, he quit. What the fuck, dude? Oh my God, bro. What the fuck, dude? Come on. This is ridiculous. Yep, look at that loss. Okay, there you go. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my God, guys. This could be good. This could be good. This could be good. Come on. No, come on, dude. Dude, come on, dude. Come on, man. Come on, man. Please, please. No. Yes, come on. Yes, come on. Come on, dude, please. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please, please. Yes. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Four okay, so he's at 4000. He's now doing $1000 rolls of dice, which has been murdering and raping his asshole all night. But he said this is the time to up it to $1000 a roll. He's at 4000. Jeez. Come on, one more of those. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, dude. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No. Oh, my God. No. No, no way, dude. No way, dude. Yeah, okay. Nice. Have a fucking great night. I'm fucking gone for fucking a while, bro. That is wow. it. He's gone. Never oh, wow. to be heard from again. Until... He lost another 19,000 or 1,900 that he wasn't live streaming. <sighs> and he comes back. Yeah. So it says boss man returns after losing 1,900 from the vault off stream. So he wasn't even on stream for the, another almost $2,000 that he lost. Yeah, what's up, everybody? <coughs> hey, you got to hear that reality king. That's fucking awesome. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I just took a toke. My bad, guys. His mood swings are insane, though. 
Maybe All right, let's get into it, boys. Six hundred dollars start. Let's fucking go. Here we go. What are we gonna start with? I'm just I'm wondering, too. Did this gambling make him insane, or was he insane before he gambled? Because this guy is out of his mind, talking to himself. Uh, I'm uh, sure it's a combination of everything. There have also been some. Uh, al I'll just say allegations, even though I think he's done it on stream. He might smoke a little crack at times, which I don't think help. I don't know where he gets the money to do it, but uh, he's he's a bit of a mess. But he's getting a lot of popularity in the last couple months. Like he's blowing up, like kick his views, everything. Uh, he was a meth head before. Okay, there you go. Makes sense. And maybe it was meth. Maybe it wasn't crack. It was meth. Sorry, allegedly. I don't want to be sued for allegedly calling you a crackhead when you were a meth head. I don't understand. I think that's like calling a New Zealander an Australian. There we go. Um, let's see. Try some dice. 500 lowest. If I do hit a 500, I'm just going to not be a pussy and actually leave. So these are 40, $40 spin Rip. of the dice. Now he's going to 30. There we go. Hit another one. I hit a 60. Please, Lord. Yes, sir. Up to 615. Oh, what a beautiful call. 60? 60 again? Let's fucking go. One more 60. Let's fucking go. Come on, one more 60. Come on, dude. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. What the fuck? Oh, my God. 120. Please, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. One more 120. Whoa, please, Lord. Please, Lord. Oh, please, Lord, be with me. Oh, please, Lord, be with me. Oh, Lord, be with me. Lord, be with me. Lord, be with me. Lord, be with me. Lord be with me. Lord be with me. Lord be with me. Oh, Lord be with me. Yes. Oh, the time. Lord is good. Oh, it's the working. Lord is good. Holy it's crap, working. guys. Oh, my God. Thousand bucks. Well, I start with 600. Sheesh. God damn. Okay, lots of 60. That's fine. Whoops. What makes me do that? Is that my new mouse doing that? What is doing that? He's got a lot Bro, of what the fuck is doing too. that? Oh my god, I'm losing terribly in the meantime. There we go. Come on, get that G. Come on, get that fucking G, baby. You were over no. a gram, and it there didn't you stop you. Why would it there stop you, you now? Woo! I am gonna leave there. One more 60, we're out. Oh, no, come on. 120, not. we're out. Oh, come on. 240, we're out. See? Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God, guys. Holy oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, dude. Fuck. Right before he said another 60 and we're out, he was at 995, right under a thousand. And now he's at three hundred dollars. What the hell? Oh my god. Bro, that was the worst loss streak I've ever been on. What the fuck? No way it doesn't hit a few greens here. Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck just happened to me? Come on, strict the 60s, please. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy shit. Oh, I'm so sorry you uh I'm offended by you. His reactions to winning and losing oh, are the same. Bro. Well, yeah, and that's what's that's what's weird. Like his reaction. Yeah, you're right, Ralph. His reactions to winning and losing are almost the same. It's almost like winning doesn't even give him much of a reaction anymore, unless it's a big win. And even sometimes those, even a small win, sometimes though, will give. I don't know. Yeah, that's like that's what it, it is. Almost making me, you know, second guess gambling. I still love it. But it is making me think, like, yeah, I guess there is just never a, a good number to quit on. Right? Like, you know, like, if you're not going to quit after winning $31,000 in one shot, when are you going to quit and be up? I mean, I know you quit when you lose all your money, but when will you quit when you're up? We'll when find out this weekend in Atlantic City. What? When the mob busts out your sporting goods store, sir. Yes. What's your name on there? Can one of my mods do that, admins? Oh, come on, man. Sorry you got banned about that, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. 
and never let go. Come on, streak the green, please. This music is streak so the gay. fucking green. It really is. Come on. Gay. Well, the uh, the instrument instrumental music is from uh, Black Man Jack or Boss Man Black. I forget what his name is. He's actually singing along to uh, Blink One Eighty Two. What? There's no way, dude. There's no way. I've lost like 20 in a row. There's no way. I just lost everything. I'm not fucking kidding. I've lost everything now. What the fuck was that? Oh, so horrible. So, so bad. I feel for you, Boss Man Jack. If only there was someone out there who could help this poor man who is just another victim of the system. I don't know if anyone could help me. I mean, I don't even hate. I don't. I just mean to sound like a beggar, but I just lost everything. Man. I'm not kidding. Man. <laughs> I've lost everything, and that's sad. Oh wow. my god, that's sad. I feel awful. All right, guys. Well, shit, dude. I don't know what to say, dude. I don't really want to stream anymore, dude. Hold on, guys. Can you imagine losing like seven thousand dollars in front of everyone like that? And then saying, is there anyone who can help? Like what? Another $25 deposit is going to help you? Like get it I back? Could, I could totally imagine Aaron from Steel Toad doing that. Yes. Chip in a chair, sir. <clears throat> uh, a chip in a chair. That is true. That is all you need. There is something about that. A chip in a chair. Very good. <laughs> But I mean, come on. You literally just blew through $7,000. And now you're asking your chat to help you. Can anyone help me out? All right. So with that horrible streak of shit, we have to talk about a win streak, a streak of goodness. So let's see. Let's see what happens when... Boss Man Jack actually does start to win a little bit. Because, yes, he did come back. Pair eight. Yeah, I got 11. I want to double that, but I'm just going to hit it. Give me a 10, baby. Please, Nora. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. No ace. No 10. Pull a nine. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh, dude. Two bands. $2,000. Never leave on a heater, Austin. You just got another 20. Never leave on a heater, buddy. Now pull that nine or under, Laura. Oh, push. God damn it. It's not a loss. Got to keep going. Got to keep going. Push forward, baby. Push forward. Big ace here. I'll get music playing in a second. Big nine. Yeah, let's fucking go. No push, Nora. No push. No win, Nora. Oh, shit. Come on. Yeah! Let's what was that? No, I just saw that. When I saw her pull an 11, I was like, uh-oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking go! $2,400! Oh, my fucking God. I won again. Holy shit. I'm going to do something risky here. This will give me the six. This will give me the 3K. Put next to 50 on there so we can do 50 on the pair. And we'll get the 3K if we win this. So, I didn't get all the clips, but I think this was the same day. He got a couple of bucks. And he actually won on a slot machine and he got up to about a little over a thousand bucks. And that's when he came over to this blackjack table and uh, we'll, we'll take it from here. Come on, 3K incoming. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Big Jack. Yeah. Holy crap. Nora's on fire. Come on, nine or under, baby. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. $3,000. So he's up $3,000. That's fantastic. We've all seen Boss Man Jack, Young Austin in this situation before. So let's see how he deals with the pressure of actually winning a couple of bucks. Uh, I say, why not, when you're winning, go over to another digital stupid game like mine that we have seen. Mine is a lot like Minesweeper. He has to pick at least two... I guess he could just pick one, but he's looking for the green diamonds, and the more diamonds he gets, the more his amount is multiplied. So keep that in mind. But if he hits a red mine, 
He loses it all. Hey man, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god, thank god. Oh my god, thank god. Go to strip club, make it rain. Yeah, so much money they use rates. Count a hundred thousand in your face. Yeah, they put three hundred right in us. Oh! Oh my gosh! 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 Eight thousand dollars! Oh my gosh, dude! I'm about to pass out, bro! I'm about to fucking pass out, bro! Oh my god, dude! Holy fucking shit, dude! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! So he has turned his uh, three thousand into eight thousand. That is what is happening here. So keep that. Holy fucking shit balls, guys! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, I feel like crying right now, dude. I haven't had a come up like this in so long, dude. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, dude! Holy crap! Oh my fucking god! Wow! Holy shit, dude! Oh my gosh, dude! I can't believe it. What did I win on the big one? How much was the bet size and how much did I win? I, I get lost in the sauce. I black out. I black out. How much was that last win? 3K win? Whew, like 3.5K. God damn. When you're this addicted to gambling, I wonder if there's like, if it's connected to like uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. Probably. Because I think I have that too. I mean, I've never been diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. It's fantastic. Gambling is wonderful. So here we go. Here is Austin's oh big win. Oh my god, win. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Mom! Oh, I think I fucked that up. All right, so Austin wins another what do you say he was at 8? So now he wins another like $4,000 and he's at $12,000 and just like Tuki, he goes and yells and brags about it to his parents. <laughs> Mom! Mom! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. Holy fuck, dude. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe it. Oh my god, dude. I can't stop saying it. Oh my god. What a fucking blessing, dude. Oh my gosh, man. What a guardian angel just watched out for me. Oh my fucking god, dude. I cannot believe I just won. Yeah, it's the most gangster. <laughs> you know what's funny is there is a rat sent me all these, but they're safe. They were in the case. They came straight from Amazon, but they ordered me a bunch of Capri Suns. I don't know why. I gotta call my mom. They're not even home. I'm gonna tell him what has happened. So his mom, his parents are not home. So he's gonna call his mom, and this is a very interesting conversation he has with mom. That doesn't happen every day, dude. Mom, guess what? Mom, guess what? Guess what? I just won twelve thousand dollars. Austin, don't throw it away. I won't. All right. <laughs> Me lose it all? What? Me? Me lose all my money? <laughs> I won't. You guys want a thousand? I'll give you a thousand. Do you guys want a thousand? Yes. Give them all twelve thousand of it, you retard. <laughs> Oh, can you imagine that? All the damage, all the yelling, all the screaming, all the fuck you, you fucking asshole, you fucking bitch, you fuck you. Do you guys want a thousand bucks? I'm serious. She says, yeah. Ma, Austin, don't lose it all. Good words. That is sound advice by Mama Boss Man. Will Boss Man Jack heed to his mother's advice odds are no probably not no uh all right so now that we have all this money it's blackjack time again baby did you want it on a pair so now he is betting two hundred dollars on a pair which means he's just betting two hundred dollars it's a 30 to one shot that the two first cards he gets are going to be paired. Actually, actually, I don't know if it's 30 to 1. It might be 15 to 1. And then is if he a, gets... So is that a side bet or is that his only yeah. bet? No, that's a side bet. He has to he has to still bet the regular bet too. You can't just bet the, the, the pair bet. And I think if it's the same suit, 
it's 30 to one, which he did hit. He hit a hundred dollar side bet for a perfect pair. And uh, it, it hit 30 to one. Uh, I think yesterday he's been, he's been on a streak lately. I'm, I'm telling you he's been on a streak, but yes, he's betting $200 on a prop bet. Oh my God. I can't. Whoops. Wrong one. The 12K, we win this. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, dude. Please, please, please. I know. Come on. I came up fat. Come on. Come on. I got three versus three. Okay. Seven or eight. Oh. Do I hit that, chat? What would y'all do? I'm going to see what this guy gets. If he gets a 10, I'm going to hit it. So he lost $200 right off the bat because he did not have a pair. And then uh, I don't know. Is he have $1,000 out there? He might have a thousand dollar bet. I don't remember. I can't see. I'm serious. If he gets a ten, I'm gonna hit it. I'm hitting it. He got ten. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Eight or under. Please, Lordy. Please, Lord, be with me. Come on. Come on. No. Wow, dude. Man, fuck you. You fucking slut. You're a fucking whore. You know that you're a fucking whore. Yes. No, I didn't. Did I get the treat? Did I get the treat? Ring light. Bro, don't don't bullshit me. Yes, he's gonna buy her a ring light. Uh so now he uh he actually finds out that he's been given some uh I think he's gotten some back uh, of his percentage back from stake, like some of his sponsorship percentage of what oh. he bets or what other because every time he bets, he actually gets a little, a very tiny percentage back. And uh so it's like it's just a never ending saga of shit. How much? How much was the treat? Is it gonna pay me my fucking money? <gasps> Eleven. It paid a thousand dollars. Oh my god! We have another chance. Yes, so he's very excited. He has an extra thousand dollars. He was not expecting. <clears throat> uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go. Let's go back to mines. Let's see how he does in mines again, since he wasn't doing so great in blackjack. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. Let's go back to blackjack. And as you know, they always say. You always split what, Ralph? Eights. And? Aces. Yes. You always split aces and eights. So let's see when this situation falls in Austin's lap. Make it or break it. Not break it, but. I got an ace. I got an ace. Please, baby. Oh, I got a pair of aces. Oh, my God. Do I do it? Do I split them? I have to. I have to. I have to. Bro, I have to. I got to do it. I'm doing it. Oh, my God. Please, Lord. This could be huge. So he has a $1,000 bet. I'm kind of confused because it seems like he has the perfect pair bet, and he should have gotten some kind of money for the two aces. Maybe the perfect pair is you have to get the same uh, suit, too, and it's only 30 to 1. But, yeah, so he has aces. So in theory now... He should split these, even though there's a 10. The dealer has a 10. He's not in a very good situation here because he has his aces. He has a thousand bucks. The book says split. You always split aces. Let's see what Austin does here. Make it or break it. Not break it, but. Oh my God. Do I do it? Do I split them? I have to. I have to. I have to. Bro, I have to. I got to do it. I'm doing it. Oh, my God. Please, Lord. This could be huge. Okay. Oh, it's actually the next clip. Okay. So here we go. Austin is going to split his aces because he has to. I mean, he really does has to have to. Odds are the next card is going to be a 10, which would make it a 22, which sucks a dick. So you want to split them. So hopefully you can get two 21s. But again, he has to risk another $1,000 to do this. Here we go. Will it pay off? Be fucking huge. This could be fucking huge. This could be fucking huge. This can be fucking massive. This can be fucking massive. Oh my god, he pulled the small numbers away from me. Maybe for us to get the tens? Everybody do the head rub in the chat. Head rub in the chat. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, we got black tech on one of them. We got 12 on the other. She needs to bust. Come on, bust lady. Please, baby. So he actually got another ace on his ace, which was shit. Some places will let you split that again. 
Yes. I think Atlantic City, you could split that again, which would mean he would have had to put up another $1,000. Would have been $3,000 on this hand. Which, yes, I would have split them again, even though all signs point to shit. Let's see what happens for young Austin here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, what? <laughs> she had a 15. She had a 10 showing. She flips it over for a 5. 15. Anyone would be excited. Holy shit. She's going to bust. Next card is a 6. She's got a 21. Austin pushes. Right? What? So he pushed on his one, and then he lost the other. It says you you have won thirty three fifty. So he must have won because of that perfect pair bet or something like that. I don't know, but uh, it's just very exciting. It was just uh, it's uh, good to see when you have aces like that and you get excited to split them. And then the dealer shows a 15, and you get excited because you think, oh, this is it. The dealer's going to bust. And then, like clockwork, they pull that six. Fuck you in the ass. I can't wait to gamble. I can't wait to get fucked in the ass in Atlantic City. Yay! But, uh, okay. So we only have a couple more clips. I cut down a lot of these clips because we are running over. We hit our, we hit our goal. Uh, but, yeah, so he's pissed off. So, of course, it's back to mines. Why not? Okay. All right, last bet right here. I swear to God, my last bet. Come on. Oh, my God. One more. Oh, my God. One more. <laughs> oh, my God. We got it back. Come on. Come on. He is over $10,000 right there. Got it back. Come on. Come on. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, wow. Down to eight something. Oh my god, dude. I'm out. Eight thousand is the lowest I'll go, dude. Oh my fucking god. Fuck you. Oh my god. He's under eight thousand and still going. Tuki, do we know if he gave his mom that thousand bucks out of I, his winnings? I do not know. I do not know. I will try and find out. All right. He did put some money away. From that first twelve thousand. Oh, okay. He did put some in the vault, as he calls it. He has this thing like the vault where he can put money into, but that's not playable. But I mean, he can take it out at any time, and he does. That's what I'm saying. He's fooling himself when he puts this money in the vault. But whatever. All right. So he said he will quit after he's at eight thousand or less. He's currently at like six thousand something. He was over ten thousand. I think these are like $1,000 uh, diamonds. Like he's doing $1,000 bets right here. Oh, yeah. Risk that shit, bitch. Now he's over 11000 again. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, my God. Do it again. Come on, 1000 Oh, my God. It's so crazy to see once he hits a mine. How many green diamonds there actually were in certain parts? Like it's cr this game is crazy. This game could get me in trouble. <laughs> to the right. Oh my god, dude! Come on. Oh my god, it's over. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Last one. Up. He's at seven. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Six thousand. Five thousand something. So now he is at five thousand down from eleven something thousand. And what does he say? Dude. Oh my God. So he got down to 5,000. He jumped off and then he started writing in the chat <laughs> that he's going to rehab. I'm not kidding. I lost it all, which is not true. He actually had a little bit of money. He had some money left, a lot of money. He has like over $5,000 left, but compared to what he had, Kind of suck. So, is he going to rehab for his gambling addiction or his yes. meth addiction? I think the gambling. Okay. 
Notice they're playing a version of Danny Boy. It's very, very funny. This was from uh, Black Man Jack. So then he threatens to delete his Discord. I think his Discord was gone for a little bit. He just told, had a total mental breakdown. <laughs> totally understandable. One hour later. <laughs> All right, and one hour later, Boss Man Jack is back playing dice. You can't keep a good gambler down. He's back on. Oh, was that Amazing Grace? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Michael uh, Nadine says it was Amazing Grace, not Danny Boy. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, so one hour later, Boss Man Jack is back and playing dice. Oh, come on. I needed that. I fucking needed that, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, And there it all goes. And there it all goes. There it all goes again. Whatever all goes means this time. I mean, he says that all the time. There it all goes, and then he's back. There it all goes, then he's back. Uh. So then he started complaining and talking about how stream steak again was ruining his life. He's done. He's not kidding. This is shit. He's done. And I lose everything every time, bro. I'm fucking, um, yeah, I'm done streaming. It's just done something to my life that I don't want to do anymore. It's putting stress on my family from these people harassing us. And, um, I lose all my money. I'm not making any money from any of this. I don't get to pocket anything. I don't get to pocket anything. So you guys can give me all this praise and tell me you love me and all this bullshit. But I don't believe any of it, dude. I don't. I think it's all bullshit, dude, and uh, I'm done with everything. If you catch my drift, I'm done. So take care, guys. Take care, everybody. And uh, I have fucking. I wish you guys nothing but the fucking best, man. I mean that too, bro. Like I wish you guys nothing but the best, bro. I get the worst things said to me every fucking day, dude. And dude, I, you guys watch me lose like this every fucking day, dude. Every fucking day, and hardly any of you guys do a thing about it. You guys just watch. Most of you guys don't even sub. I mean, most of my subs are from like 10 people that are gifted. I, it's just not worth it to me anymore. I don't like anything I built up. This shit is so bullshit to me. And I'm done with everything. I'm done with everything, dude. Take care, guys. I'm going to go delete my Discord and right kick to delete my kick. I'm not kidding, man. I am completely fucking done, dude. And uh, I wish you guys will find another stream that you guys can relate to because I'm completely done. Steak has completely ruined my life. My life has been completely ruined. I've probably lost half a million dollars this year. So he's done. Steak has ruined his life. He has no responsibility. It's all Steak's fault. I will tell you, he was back. And he actually got up to about 30 grand again. I don't know how, but he did. Okay. I don't have clips of that because, again, we play too much and there's too much. But he did. He got back up to about 30 grand. He talked again about buying a car, moving out, doing all that kind of stuff. And that was all part, I believe, of the 20-hour stream that's on Kick. So if you go, there is a 20-hour video, I believe. And you could see how he won a lot of money again. He was up a lot. But as you will see in this next video, <laughs> Boss Man Jack literally lost $10,000 in 12.2 seconds on everybody's favorite game. No. Guess. The dice game. No. Even stupider. The, the, we the wheel game. Oh, the wheel no. Game. Limbo, how oh, low no. can you go? Limbo, how low can you go? Yay! I want to do a five thousand dollar limbo. Oh my god! Who's going to do a five thousand dollar limbo? This is uh, all thanks to Black Man Jack. Thank you for clipping this, Black Man Jack. And you will watch. He has a timer and everything. The great Boss Man Jack loses ten grand in real money in twelve point two seconds. Do it. Just one. One and done. No, no, I'm doing it. No, I just lost five bands. Get it back. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, all in. Oh my god, I just lost 10 grand. Oh my god, I just lost 10 bands. I just lost 10 bands. Oh my god, what am I doing? Why would I do that? Oh my god, dude. I still have like 30 bands, way more than all y'all. Man, all these guys laughing, dude. All of them. Laugh. So he's claiming even though he lost that 10,000, he still has another 30,000. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but also notice he's wearing the same shirt as the last. <laughs> this is a different day, but he is still wearing the same shirt as he was during that other great streak of winning and losing. I have gotten an update as of this morning that said last night he lost about another 20 grand. Oh, so that is where we're at. I have not watched any of his streams today. Thank you, Tiny Chud, for keeping me update keeping me updated and uh thank you to all those youtube channels for clipping these things uh black man jack lost man jack and uh boss man crack yes thank I you i appreciate you guys uh and yes boss man jack is fantastic hopefully tuki does not lose 10 grand in 12.2 seconds but it's definitely a possibility how much was your plane ticket sir uh my plane ticket uh was uh a little under 400 what if I could tell you right now? I could make sure that you only lost four hundred dollars. Oh no, this weekend, sir! No, you, Cardiff. You have to risk it, or, or Ralph. You have to risk it for the biscuit. We need the streaking green, whatever that means. It's a good point, sir. But yes, no, we're gonna do it. We're doing it in AC. We're gonna hit those video pl uh, plinko tables or whatever. <laughs> <It'll be> fantastic. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all. That is all we have tonight for Boss Man Jack. Those are all our clips. Tony Chase, Bossman Jack. It's fantastic. Getting away from this dabble verse. Oh, this dreaded dabble verse that Kate Meany has quit. She <laughs> put in her two weeks' notice. Does that mean she won't be doing any more shows? Yeah. I hope so. It's fantastic. Someone please let her know that if she wants a room in AC, John has her covered. <laughs> I wonder why John's flights were delayed. Rain? What would delay John's flights? Probably John. Yeah. <laughs> Marshall threw him off the plane. Disinfecting the plane before he gets on. Oh, all right. All right, Tuki. Do we want to wrap up with the uh super chats? Yes, let us do everyone's favorite part of the show. Thank you, everybody, for uh hanging in there with us tonight. This is an extra long Tuki soup, but uh we hit the goal, so we have to do it. Oh, raise gay, 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 raise gay. See Kyle. Oh fucking why do I it's okay. All right, yes, let's read Ray actually messaged me during the show, I guess uh our moderators were putting him in uh, time out during the oh, show. No. So. <laughs> I was getting some I was getting some text messages. I wonder if it was about that. I think it probably was. People text message me during the show. Uh okay. <laughs> uh weird medicine with Dr. Steve. Thank you for the two hours. You have a very pleasant count countenance IRL, Tuki. You have a very pleasant countenance in real life, Tuki. What's a countenance? I don't know that word. Ralph? Yes, sir. <laughs> what does countenance mean? I agree with Dr. Steve, sir. All right. There, there you go. Thank you, Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve, you have to remember, we're very dumb. Uh, you, uh, uh, a person's face or facial expression. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's countenance. What? Please comport yourself appropriately in Atlantic City, sir. Pest, 199 Thank you. OJ, remember when you keistered those two eight balls? You cornhole, you rat hold some cocaine? Do you remember I have, that? I have done some coke in my In your day. butt? Not in my butt, no. Like Stevie Nicks? did <laughs> Stevie Nicks do coke in her butt? I don't know. Not with me, sir. 
Uh, Ozone, thank you for the $5. Any concerns that hanging out with this leper colony might cause you to have an existential crisis and question all your life decisions? Mm. Yes. No. No, I think it's going to be fun. I can't wait to see everyone. Even Chad, who oh. I asked to bring a t-shirt. I want a Zumok Mania t-shirt. I said I'd, I'd bring cash. You bring the extra large shirt. And we'll make the drop off. <laughs> but I do. I want a Zumok Mania shirt. Uh, APAR199, you three ever been in a Devil's Three-Way? No. Yes, we were in Detroit. What? Yes. We were? Yeah. I wasn't. Yes, you were, sir. <laughs> Eddie Valentino, thank you for the $2. Where can I get the cause on your thumbnail? Where can I get the cause on your thumbnail? Well, my thumbnail is part of a simulation of what the beatdown at the Borgata might look like. And I'll put that up. I was going to do some uh, commentary over it, but I haven't found time. Maybe I'll try before I put it up. But probably just put it up members only. And then we'll give it to everyone else after the members get to see it. Uh, Kel Naris, thank you for being a member for four months. Larry David smacked the shit out of Elmo. Discuss. I didn't see that. I kind of heard vaguely about it. Larry David got in a fight with Elmo. Apparently Will Wheaton was very upset about it, sir. Will Wheaton? Yes, sir. Who's that? from Star Trek, sir. <laughs> huh? The nerdy kid from Star Trek. He's in Stand By Me as well, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, I actually know who you're talking He was the young pilot, or not pilot, but the young kid they brought on. Yeah, the doctor's son or something. And he was the... the oh, the, it's so sad that I know author. that. How do I know that? <laughs> These are movies? Stand By Me was a movie, sir. Oh, I thought it was a book. Sure, it was a book before it was a movie. Norm Stakes, thank you for the five dollars. Note to Tukey: Do not throw sixty thousand dollars into the Atlantic Ocean amidst a fit of existential dread. You may one day regret it. What? Who did that? Didn't I already do that. Oh no, Norm. Norm. Or Norm. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I will not be doing that. I promise. Are you I think I already you? told that story though. If I remember. What are right. he throwing in? Is it possible that it could still be there? Can we get it? Schwab, member for six months. Tukey, sorry I locked up like Big Cat on the phone. Yes, you locked up like Fez Watley, the Big Cat. That's okay. Just breathe. Nelax44, $10. Thank you. Good luck in AC. How much are you planning to gamble? Uh, Honestly, I'm bringing about a grand. And if I lose a grand, that's that's pretty much it. But again, I really want to play mostly poker. So that's like three three buy-ins and then some extra money to play some other games. I don't know. Who knows? Can you get an automatic cash advance on a mortgage at a casino? Did they do that? <laughs> I don't think of course. So. Chad had a bank appointment the other day. I wonder if they have bank appointments at the Borgata. Can I make an appointment with the Borgata Bank? They can co-sign on my remortgage? Don Wrinkles, thank you for the five dollars. Rocking my Uki, rocking my Uki, watching the Tuki. What? <laughs> this is Uki, Dick. Yes, I think so. No, disgusting. Thank you though, Don. Please keep rocking that Uki. Dave, two dollars. Someone challenged John to a beer drinking contest. I will not be doing that. But anyone else, I will referee. I would not win in a beer drinking contest. Can John beat one? Because then he will beat me. <laughs> uh, his eyes closed, sir. Yes, he is a he is a professional. That is a talent that he has. Can't beat this. Schwab, two dollars. I thought I could say hi to Doctor Steve and talk floods. No, Doctor Steve had something else going on. He's been fired. I apologize. And the phone lines are gone. The phone lines are down. Once we started doing Boss Man Jack, I cut the phone lines off. Uh, Tony Clifton, thank you for the five dollars. Suttering John flight now delayed until eleven thirty p.m. Pacific time. We'll miss his con connecting flight in Fort Lauderdale. Holy shit! Wait, eleven thirty p.m. tomorrow night, or was he supposed to fly today? He's flying today. Oh, he was. Oh, he's flying tonight. He's going west to east, sir. He has to. Yeah, take like a red I thought, eye. I just, oh, 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 he's taking the red eye. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <gasps> 
Oh no, he wouldn't. Uh, Apar one ninety nine. A rumor: April leaving Aaron for stuttering John. Wants she wants babies. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, is Aaron clipped? Did Aaron get his weenie clipped? He can't <laughs> deliver the babies. <laughs> not lo- not when I saw it, sir. Interesting. Do you think it tastes any different, Cardiff or Ralph? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have done a I have done a taste test, sir. Yes, there is some there's some loss of texture. Like diet cum, yeah. cum light. It's almost Shit. pointless. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. Who wants it if you can't? You don't have the little swimmy things. They they taste they they feel good going down. They wiggle down. Mm-hmm. They feel they feel good down your throat, right, Chad? Shane M, 1980. Thank you for the $44. Today is my 44th birthday. You guys hey. have given me a lot of entertainment over the last year. Thanks. Happy birthday, Shane. Thank you. Happy Yay. birthday, Shane. M. Happy birthday, Shane. Oh, that's fascinating. I did not know John's flight was tonight. That's right. The red eye. He's wasted. He seemed a bit wasted on his show. I hope he does not driving to the airport. Oh, no. Oh, no. He is going to miss his connecting flight. This is all a disaster. Oh, no, this is a Luck- disaster. But luckily, Spirit Airlines has such a robust fleet and great customer service that they'll make sure to get him to AC on time. Yeah, right? He's probably doomed. Yes, sir. How far is Fort Lauderdale from Cape Coral? Might as well just go to, home, you know, go home to his house. Yeah. Hang out there. But then where will the motorcycle gang live, sir? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Does he have a motorcycle gang hanging out of his house? MS-13. Fantastic. This is crazy, but we're doing it. We're doing it. We're going to be in AC in less than 48 hours. It's fantastic. Uh, Weird Medicine with Dr. Steve. Thank you for the $5. What people seem to miss is that Carl was watching Cuties as a consequence from the creep off. What's Cuties? I have no idea. It's... uh... It's a movie on Netflix that's borderline child pornography, sir. That was fantastic. That was his consequence. You had to watch Jesus that over and over Christ. again. Oh, is that the show or the it's movie? Like, it was like 10-year-old dancing girls or something, and Ew. they were dressed very provocatively, I guess. Disgusting. Oh, yeah. I think I did see something about that. Uh, all right. Magnetic Productions, $5. Uh, here's theaters, the phone lines. Here's theaters, the phone lines. Thanks for taking my call. Carla got cucked. Have fun in AC. Oh, here's towards the phone lines. Thanks for taking my call. Carla got cucked. Have fun in AC. Thank you, Magnetic Productions. I think I figured that out. You're the best, sir. Oh, God. I need to bring I need another water. I'm dying. Trent Pivo, thank you for the $2. Hi, friend. Why you keep telling me to say white people? What? Let's say white waffle. They say white people. That doesn't even make sense. Why are you trashing me? $5. Thank you, Ray DeVito, for bringing Tukey to life. He's the real light and modern day version of a retarded Geppetto. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's fantastic. And I did hear, thank you to whoever super chatted MLC today and talked about how B. Dabbler is the American dream. He's a man with a full-time job and does Tukey on the side and is funny. I appreciate it your super chat and that's when kevin basically said yeah buddy he likes the potato and he's <laughs> he's all he's all buddy buddy with carl and the potato i'm done with tukey i was like motherfucker i was friends with these guys way before i was friends with you you kept calling me a loser cut them both out of your life sir but yes i will cut them both out kevin you just give me the go ahead and they're both dead to tukey but no i guess tukey if tukey has to make a decision he is hanging on with his friends, the Potato and Lady K. It's a big mistake, sir. Leo Gunn, member for two months. Hashtag Dump DeVito 2024. You'll rue the day, sir. Yes. I know, but, you know, this is why pencils have erasers, I think. I don't think that applies here. Handsman, Collective Skull, FKB, SSJ, TWO, the $2. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, God. My throat hurts. Fucking Frank, member for five months. Anyone seen Bobby Nick's monster daughter on... Okay. 
Never oh, no. Sorry. Sorry, Bobby Nick. American Cupcake, $5. Tukey, it's not colored section of the wheel. It's section of color. Hacka, hacka. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. The section of color. That sounds so much better. But yet the same. So why does it matter? What not chaser five dollars? Is it true KB acquired a Stinger missile system and plans on downing John's plane? Yes, yes, a Stinger missile system was acquired by MLC. I mean, they make so much money; they probably bought a couple. But yes, he is. He does have it locked on John's plane, like they had it locked on TWA Flight Eight Hundred back in the nineties. If anyone remembers that. Why are you trashing me? Two dollars, Tukey. Why are you always so fascinated by retards? I don't know. They fascinate me. <laughs> it must have all started when you uh, saw them making the lamps. Yes, that's true. Oh, I gotta, I gotta call Tukey's other mom and record a, co- a conversation with her and find out more about that. Ask her what that place was all about. She would totally know. Because I, I'm still, I still don't understand what that place was all about. <laughs> or maybe Tuki made it up in his head. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to my, uh, my other mom, and uh, see if we can record a phone call, and uh, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of what was with the Down syndrome lamps. I still don't understand. And a gymnastics class. It was a full gymnastics thing. Gymnastics slash lamp making. I don't get it. Why are you trashing me? Five dollars, Tukey. Would you rather give all your money to Boss Man Jack at Atlantic City to gamble, or be alone with a drunk, stuttering John in his bed, telling him I love you more than a friend? <laughs> Definitely, Boss Man Jack. Definitely. I don't see. I don't see stuttering John telling Tukey he loves him. Stuttering John tells everyone else he loves him. Yeah, you know, Stevie, I love you. Yeah, hey, yeah, Kate, you know, Kate, I love you. They never say it back. Actually, I think Kate Meany might have said it back. But uh, Stevie Lou did not say it back. And I don't think Vince... I think he says it to Vince the lawyer, too. And I don't think he says it back. Cyber stupid. Yes, very stupid, Kate Meany. Cyberganic, thank you for the $2. Imagine trying to live in a house with him screaming. Yes, boss man Jack. I don't understand how his parents do it. Yeah, I'd beat his ass, for sure. He'd either be dead, or I would have painted the walls red with the blood from my brain. As I blew a hole in it. Uh, Carl's Frosted Tips. Thank you for the one ninety nine. John's son. A beefy vagina. TWO. Oh, stop it. How dare you. N-word chaser. Thank you for the Australian $2. BMJWO. TWO. Fantastic. BMJ. Black <laughs> Boss Man Jack. WO. Yes. Oh, I also have a bunch of clips of Boss Man Jack saying TWO. It's not for Tukey, but it could work for us. Uh, Tony Clifton, thank you for the five bucks. Stuttering John's new Fort Lauderdale to AC flight includes a five hour layover in Orlando. Spirit Air is just a bus, is just a bus with wings. Look up Allegiant, see how what they're like. I just discovered Allegiant thanks to a good friend, and uh, that is an interesting airline. That might be the Greyhound of all airplanes, but we shall see. Chris Dyer, thank you for being a member for three months. So stoked for Hackamania VIP TWO. Yes, get your tickets now. Hackamania.com, May 31st to June 2nd. Tickets will never be this cheap. $100 gets you in for all three days. That's less than $35 a show. $35 a show is $10 more than Gino and Chad are charging for their show, which is two hours. And they can't even sell 20 tickets. It's crazy. But yes, go to hackamania.com for tickets. And uh, if you need a hotel, go stay at the uh, Grand Downtown or something. I think that's where Tukey's staying. Uh, Framp, $2. How did you become friends with doctors and lawyers? <laughs> I don't know. It just kind of happened. I never had any doctor or lawyer friends before this. My computer just restarted itself. Uh, yeah, no, I, I never had any friends who were doctors or lawyers. All, all Tukey's friends are very stupid. So maybe it was a faulty Google Chrome. Yes. Handsman, $2.99. Tukey rules. Collective Skull. Yes, Collective Skull. 
I'm not giving that band the satisfaction anymore. <laughs> they keep striking me for a fucking five second clip. Fuck you, Collective Soul. I hate you. Your songs stink. And the Jerky Boys movie sucked. Crusher 17 member for seven months. Tukey giving free handies in AC. No, they will not be free. Well, it depends on how up I am. If I'm up like a grand. What? You know your worth, sir. Yes. If I'm up a grand, maybe. Maybe I'll get a free one. But if I'm down, holy shit. You be spending. Is that it? That is. Holy shit. You did it, sir. Boys and girls, we did an hour of overtime for you. Over an hour. Over an hour to thank you. To thank you for hitting the goal. You hit the goal tonight, and we didn't have to remind you a million times to use your Starbucks bucks, your Wendy dollars, your McDonald's cash, your Disney bucks, your Gap money. What other kind of monies are there? <laughs> I like when Steel Toe lists all the ways you can give them money. Bitcoin, sir. Bitcoin, PayPal, Venmo. Starbucks. Facebook Cash stars. Out. Yeah, Facebook stars. Oh, you can make uh you can make Tuki's uh, live stream better by giving stars. Stars are a fictional thing that helps Tuki get encouraged to do more streams. Uh yes, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the gifted memberships and buying memberships. And thank you for just chatting and being part of the show. I love you all more than a friend. This is great. We'll see you all in Atlantic City this weekend. Tuki hopes to see you all there. Be sure to go to WATPlive.com to get tickets for March 22nd in Largo, Florida, WATP and Revenge of the Sis, along with Tuki and Cardiff Electric. OJ will be there too, but Carl doesn't like him. So OJ will be in the very, very back of the room. <laughs> I think he's got the last seat, the last row behind a pillar. It was fantastic. It was very nice of Carl to save that seat for you and have you purchase it. So that was yes. great. So uh, WATP Live for all that. Hackamania.com for Hackamania three-night event. May 31st to June 2nd. Be there or be a piazza. Come to the show that will never see the likes of MLC again or... These people will never see the likes of going on MLC again, I guess. Whatever. BYB podcast, $2. Chad will be giving mouth after the comedy show. Enjoy. Oh, that's fantastic. I could use some mouth. <laughs> what is he talking about? Blowjob, sir. Yay! <laughs> you heard it here. Chad will be giving out blowjobs after the comedy show. That's fantastic. Perhaps to the 20 people who already bought tickets to that show. Can you believe that? That show has been announced for over two months. It only seats 80 people, and they're still, they still can't get all the tickets gone. Yeah, I believe it. Shocking. Even subreddit surfing live is doing better than that, sir, at carlsoncomedy.com. That's fantastic. Yes, go to subreddit surfing.com or subreddit surfing live.com. Uh, carlsoncomedy.com, sir. Oh, never mind. Carlsoncomedy.com. Get your tickets for March 9th. Cardiff. And the great Vinny Parlino. I believe Trucker Andy will be there. Carl will be doing a comedy set written by the great. Who's it being written by? Cardiff Electric. Cardiff, Cardiff Electric. Electric yeah. Yes. I, be I believe he will just be uh, bastardizing a dad joke book, sir. <laughs> Fantastic. It's wonderful. But we are doing it. Anything else you guys want to plug? Plug your stuff at Cardiff Electric. All that junk. <laughs> Who? <laughs> At Cardiff Electric on Twitter. I'm or... on Twitter now, sir. Real AP Ralph. Come oh, yeah. Me. Real AP Ralph is on Twitter. Go give Ralph a follow. Do you follow people, Ralph? Or are you like... Of course, sir. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm not a homosexual. Yes. Because Cardiff does not follow anyone, as far as I know. He thinks he's so cool. He only follows John. and At this moment, I believe he's blocked, sir. Oh, he still follows John? <laughs> I was going to say... I am not blocked by John. Ever since before all of our lawsuit things, I think John always wants to see what I'm writing. So he has not blocked me. I have not been blocked for a very long time by John. He blocked me on Twitter when he saw the Dr. Dre Eminem. Oh, no. 
video. But that's such a great song. It is. Oh, he's just jelly. He's jelly. Ah, oh, baby. All right, boys and girls. Uh, the next time you'll see Tukey will be in Atlantic City. Uh, we will see. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll do some stuff from the airport. You know, just hit the bell. Hit the bell. Follow it at Obnoxious John on YouTube, at Cardiff Elect on YouTube or Twitter, I think. Allegedly, sir, yes. And then uh, patreon.com slash Cardiff Electric, patreon.com slash Bedabbler Network, all that crap. I love you all more than a friend, and we'll see you in AC, baby. Yeah! Sit, Eugene, sit. Good dog. Uh, that's the end of my show. Donk.